Okay, here we are. Thanks, everybody. Uh, this is another Humankind noob run. I am going to uh, start up session six. I've uh, sessions one through five. I'd never used uh, well, session one. I'd never used uh, Humankind before. Uh, sessions two, three, four, and five. I'd used Humankind before one, two, three, four times before. Session six. I've used Humankind six times before. Uh, put a couple hours in it um, just to let you know what I'm going to do. On this um, on this run through, I'm going to go in and uh, take a look at what the big problems are, uh, and then move on to the next uh, turn. If the next magic next turn button will let me, and then I'll uh, see if I can fix the problems as they arise. So I'm trying to buzz through it fairly quickly so I can get an idea of each era's ups and downs and things I didn't do. I've got a whole uh, not list. I've got a small list of things that I've already screwed up on uh, pretty heavily, but. Um, Let's jump in and actually do some stuff here. So uh, on this turn, turn 38, it says I have two idle armies. I'm looking at this idle army here. Okay, this says if I attack, it'll be a draw. Uh, I think I'm gonna wanna not draw here. I think I wanna get into my territory uh, so that I can, so that I, sorry, so that uh, I can start uh, earning health back. So my health is currently 19. If I'm in my territory, I should be gaining 20 per turn. So I would need to wait for four turns to get back to full health. Uh, which might be a good idea. Uh, he's got... He, so he's in his territory. He's earning 20 turns. So he's going to get up to 90 health if he doesn't attack me this turn. I'm going to go back to my territory and then... Can't do it. Can't do it, I guess. So, oh, so maybe he's attacking me? I don't know. Oh, okay. So I had a battle. And I won it. Oh, uh, up, uh mm, I can't tell what this is trying to tell me. So I, ha I haven't run through the uh, Humankind tutorial. I've watched uh, a fair number of YouTube videos on Humankind. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. So nobody won anything. Uh, but he's not letting me... Oh, there we go. Now I can move. Interesting. So I definitely want to get back to my territory. I think I want to be on a river. I think that gives you a, a defensive bonus. So now that I'm here, uh, yeah, so you can see I'm getting 20 per turn. So he's going to have to come attack me now if he wants. Uh, I don't have any movement left because I hit a river. As soon as you hit a river, it stops. Uh, when I first heard about humankind, I thought, oh, uh, the, the movement on humankind, I thought, oh, great. There's rivers you can go up and down. I kind of envisioned a system where you would you know, land on the coast or be wherever you are and you'd follow this uh, river up and down so you could kind of, uh, uh, the exploration would be kind of snake-like things. But uh, that hasn't really happened so far. I don't know if I'm doing everything completely right. So I don't think there's anything else I can do with this guy other than claim a territory. I've got 33. Whoops. Anyway, I don't want I don't want to claim a territory. So here's a unit of warriors. They're at strength 52. So anyway, I, I just got done with a, a kind of a semi battle situation. So I'm just going to sit around in my territory. Uh, maybe I could go in and attack Nessa here. All right. Okay. So getting up on that cliff, I thought would be good for my. Uh, attacking abilities, but uh, these cliffs in civilization, uh, sorry, in humankind have been kind of weird, way too pervasive uh, movement. Uh, movement barriers. So if I wanted to get to Nessa, I'd have to come right down here or go all the way around and come down through this area here. Uh, it looks like, as near as I can tell, there are different elevation levels in humankind, and if, if you go more than two elevation levels, you can't move from one tile to another. Uh, I'm not sure I completely understand that, but that's part of the game. So I'm in my territory. I'm kind of on this narrow slip here. Let me make sure I can't. So, okay, so it won't let me move out into the water. Which I guess it's fair enough. Um, I guess I'm just going to leave him there. I don't know that I'm going to gain anything by moving back. 
Let's see what's going on here. If I move back and get up on this plateau here and I want to come back and... Well, that might not be too bad of an idea. Here I'm stuck. If I ever want to move anywhere, I have to go through Nessa. Come all the way back around. So maybe if I'm going to come all the way back around, I should start that now. Which would also have the advantage of defending Patrick Jr. here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Just uh, kind of for fun. Move back there, and he should still regenerate 20. So I, th I think moving doesn't hurt you in terms of regenerating your health. Okay, that's good. So now I've got an idle city, which is... Uh, I have two cities, Patrickville and Patrick Jr. Uh, let's see. So this guy has zero population? So I don't remember exactly what's going on, but I have two cities. So I, I think I, I think this was originally an outpost. Uh, and now I have two other outposts. One here. Uh, they're called administrative centers once you hook them up to your city. And the other one is... Somewhere else. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Anyway, Patrick Jr. is a city, so he can build stuff. Uh, he can't build any units because those take one pop. I could spend a bunch on... Uh... Uh, this public ceremony, which would give me food, but cost 250. Uh... So, I, again, not really knowing what to do. I think I'm just going to try to build some food districts. Um, right now, I'm going to... Let's see, what is it, what is it telling me? Right now I have zero, I have zero population, so it's taking uh, zero, that population is, is eating zero food, so. Um, I think I'm just going to, okay, here's my, okay, so here's what's going on. Let me show you what's going on here. Da -da 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 -da. Oops. Um, okay, so my plan is what I've been doing to kind of help me uh, pre-select uh, my actions has been to come up with these uh, um, there I've got seven pretty quick uh, uh, helpful strategic tips so one is um, if I have a, if I have a special district I can build it so if I do have a special district I'll build that special district I think I can build one in each city it looks like it but I'll, I will just build one as the first and that happens to give me three food per number of attached territories. I think I have one attached territory. I'm not sure where I find that. Number four. Okay, so I have one attached territories. So I'm going to get three food times one. Three faith. I don't know what, what to do with I don't know what faith is, so I guess I'll find out. Uh, lose ten stability. Plus three food per adjacent farmer's quarter. So I'll have to put this nematon, which I guess is a sacred grove, next to some place that I'm going to then later put more... Um, uh, farmer's quarters and I'll get plus two stability so it takes ten away and gives me two can be built once per territory okay so and it only costs 62 so this seems like the way to go here uh, and I'm going to look for a place to put it okay so it allows me to put it over here so I thought uh, just, just as a as a weird thing I thought that I had to put things next to the city in the ring of tiles around it. Um, but apparently that's not the case. Okay, so it says that the best one is eight food, three faith, and I lose eight stability. So I don't know. Okay, seven, three. Seven, three. Seven, three. Seven, three. Seven, three. And I wanted to be a place where I can later on build a, an adjacent farmer's quarter so this seems as good as any uh, so if you look so I finally figured out what those uh, little uh, tabs are they look like the uh, little um, what used to be called radio buttons uh, in iOS they're now I forget what they're called but uh, anyway that's not what they are and, and also that uh, icon there that little thing that's to me is a greater than sign really means will become hey Captain Hardship uh, yeah uh, good, good question. This is a continuation of the Zhao run. Uh, I was able to 
get through the ancient era as the Zhao. Uh, in fact, you can see, if you want, that I've got a, should have a Confucian, yeah, see, here's my, I've got a Confucian school right here. Confucian school. Uh, that was from my uh, Zhao run. I just, this uh, turn, or the previous turn, flipped over into, into this Celts. Uh, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time figuring out what's going on there, uh, and then try to jump jump through as fast as I can. I'm just going to go roll through like I was doing before. Uh, you can see on the right-hand side of the screen there, I've already decided, I've kind of pre so this is kind of a really crude uh, artificial intelligence uh, just to get me through. Uh, I'm not trying to min-max. I'm not trying to make the best decisions. I'm just trying to get the, the number of uh, stars I need to get to the next turn. So um, I decided to build a Nematon because that's a district. Uh, that's a unique district, and I'm going to build all the neat, unique districts that I can. Uh, and so it, on this particular um, uh, UI interface here, it lists all the uh, tiles that you can legitimately put a Nematon on. Uh, and then it picks the one that gives you the best, uh, the best uh, one, gives you the best one tile option. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one because it's next to other tiles that I think I'm going to throw down a uh, farmer's unit on, a farmer's square on next time. So I'm going to build that there. And uh, the artwork is pretty cool. You can see uh, in white here, they're kind of just uh, starting to build that. It's going to take 11 turns. Um, I've got 400 money. If I wanted to spend 156, I could get that done. But you know what? I'm not really using the money for anything. I, I like to have money around in case there's some some weird crisis comes up. Um, 56. Yeah, I've got 433. I'm making 20 gold per turn. Uh, I made a little bit of money on ransacking. I'm trying to remember where I'm getting that 20 gold, I guess from my cities. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Nemet Nemeton. Yeah, Nemeton. Oh, cool. That is cool. Um, that's a good uh, That's a good graphic there. So, counts as a farmer's quarter. And now my food goes way up, which is good. Now, is this, uh, is this thing here just for this city? Or is it for the whole uh, empire? It's just for that city. Okay, so Patrick Jr. is, is getting a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, food. He's going to gain one population every two turns. Eh, okay, fine. Um, so I lost some stability building the Nematon. Yeah, so you look down at the bottom, it says negative eight stability from the Nematon. Uh, but I've got a hundred this turn and I'm gonna have a hundred next turn. I'll worry about that later. And now there's no construction here. So what do I want to do? Again, I can't build uh, units because I don't have any pop. I can build a public celebration, which gives me more food. Um, or I can build another quarter. Oh, cool. Yeah. The third of... right. Yeah, I think I might be going a little bit faster than you. Not, not, because, not because I'm better than you at this game, but probably because I'm worse than you at this game. So I'm going in and just trying to buzz through and figure out what's going on. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's the other thing that I noticed. Um, I don't want to. The other thing I noticed was that uh, now that I'm in the ancient or classical era, building a unit costs a pop. So if I want to build a scout, it costs a population. But if I'm in the Neolithic era, I can get population just by killing mammoths and deer. Um, so I didn't, and it doesn't count. A, doesn't count as a pop. It doesn't cost a population because. There's no such thing as population in the Neolithic era. So the next time I play in the Neolithic era, I'm going to go in and and try to get as many units as I can because those units uh, carry over. Yeah, okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, three specialty stars. So let me see what my specialty stars are. Uh, I've got, I have 27 population. I have to get 27 population to get to the first star. It says it gives me a reward of zero, but I think that's just uh, a bug. I think, I think that should be 150. Um, but if I have to gain 20 people to get a 20 more pop, 
that's going to be tough. And then to get all three of them is going to be tough. So, um, yeah, I think it's good to focus on your specialty stars. I tried to do that with the Zhao, but it was it, would, it was all about uh, fame, and I could get there's no way to get any fame, so I just cranked some science out. Here's the science. Here's the science. So I think I'm pretty good on science. I've actually got one air star already, so I'm just going to buzz through and decide what to build next. I've already built a district. Um, I think I'm going to build infrastructure next, so. Lots of good infrastructure. Food per horse. So I do have a horse uh, right here. So that would be nice. Or food per farmers. I have zero farmers, so that doesn't sound like a good idea. Uh, pottery, I get influence. Right now I'm getting 20 influence per turn, another four. Uh, that's 20% increase. That's not too bad. Okay, so my thoughts are now uh, animal barns or pottery workshops. The other one is forge. Uh, five industry per copper. Do I have any copper? Uh, it looks like I do have some copper here. So my industry is a little low. And lumberyard industry on forest and woodland. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on there. So I'm just going to pick one kind of at random. Um been focusing on food let's keep focusing on food okay so now my intern but my end turned button is on so I'm gonna fire that up um, gives me some notifications telling me what's going on here uh, I did I do want to mention uh, I've made plenty of mistakes in this game and I keep feeling like hey I probably should uh, I probably should uh, like restart start over so that I don't make the same mistakes but I think if I get in that trap I'm just gonna restart and then re restart and re re restart because uh, I'm gonna keep finding more and more mistakes so I think my current understanding is the big mistakes that I've made are uh, not getting enough units not getting enough scout units and then the other mistake was I built a city right in the crevice of two mountains because I thought I needed to do that turns out that's not the case I probably should have built this somewhere else and then I could have built the uh, Confucian School in this crevice between two mountains, and I would have gotten uh, twice the benefit from it. So um, just wasn't thinking straight on that. And right now they have got some... The Huns. I have no idea what a Hun is. The Hittites reached the classical era. Oh, the Hittites. Okay, so they used to be the Hittites, now they're the Huns. Good for them. So now when I... When I Blow out, yeah. See, the blue is now the Huns instead of the Hittites. Um, so over here on this unknown guy, I, I don't know how to get across the ocean yet. Uh, otherwise, I would do it and just check those guys out. So the Huns, that sounds ominous. Hail, sovereign. So they've got two war support. I've got two war support. Uh, I think my my uh, equilibrium war support is fifty, and their equilibrium war support, I believe, was eighty when they were Hittites. But it's possible it'll also be 80 when they're the Huns, because I think that's also a war. Yeah, 50 plus 30. Oh, wait a sec. Okay, so as soon as as soon as my war support hits 50, their war support will hit 50 because we're we're gaining it at the same speed. At that time, I'm going to have to go to war to, with them, because if I let them get up to 80, they're going to declare war on me, and then they just grind me down. You know they. They can win and lose battles as long as it's about equal. And my war support will go down to zero, and theirs will go down to 50, you know, 80 minus 50. Those will, theirs will go down to 30, and they'll win the war. So um, I think strategically I have to go in and uh, attack the Huns at some point. Okay, so I'm going to go through and see what the deal is. So I've had these guys. 72... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was going to move them up on this plateau here. Plateau. Wait, so can he... Okay, so they can climb up here. At the city site, they can climb up here, and then they can climb up there. I don't really like the way the uh, cliffs um, make the uh, movements so laborious, but that's just the way it is. Maybe there's some way I can exploit that. My second regiment, these guys, I want them to get 
better and better, so I think I'm just going to leave them here. Here's my second administrative center. Uh, it's attached to Patrickville. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, so I kind of like where they are because they, they can go up and down this river pretty quickly. Maybe I'll just leave them here. Plus, they put them right, puts them on a on a higher on an elevation elevation right in front of uh, the Huns' territory. The Huns might come right up this valley here and try to attack me. Uh, they would be smarter to to come up here on this forest and then come out here. But uh, we'll see how smart the AI is. The second thing is I want to stay on a river. If I get attacked, I think I get a defensive bonus if I'm on a river. So uh, I'm gonna leave him, wait, where did he go? I'm gonna leave him alone, oh wait, so. I don't need to claim that territory. I don't need to ransack anything. Wait, can I ransack something? I don't see anything around here to ransack. Uh, what is this? I don't need to clear a forest. I'm just gonna sit around, so I'm done with my. Uh, done with my armies, my two armies, uh, and I'm done with my buildings, or done with my cities. I did notice, I do have this society thing here. It says one inactable civic. I'm not sure what that means. Um, my, um, my strategy was to keep the uh, civics in the middle, uh, mainly because I had no idea what it meant, but now I notice that if you move your, your uh, civics, outside of the middle you get bonuses and malices so if i'm right i'm just picking this one for fun this is what progress versus tradition if i move a little bit to the way of tradition uh instead of having 10 stability i'm going to have five stability which is a malice but i'm going to get two faith so i don't know if that's good or bad or what um So I'm trading five stability for two faith, or I could trade five stability for five percent science. Yeah. So anyway, maybe I'll just try to pop out of the, this narrow range on society and uh, see what's going on. But this thing here is weird. It says show civics, and I've already enacted divine mandate. Um, wait, this was ministry and po politics, and this is treatment of criminals. So it looks like I can pick another civic and I don't know why the intern button let me go without picking that um, okay so if I pick this I uh, will lose some stability and gain some faith and I will get cheaper create outposts uh, I'm an ex I'm not an expansion of civilization uh, if I go here I'm going to stay and not lose any stability. 20% on attach outpost, co outpost cost. 20% on absorb city. So I don't know what that means. Um, but I don't really, I don't really care about customary laws versus co codified laws. Um, I'm just looking at how that affects the gameplay right now. So I'm just going to, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pick one. Just imagine. So Once you discover writing, mandate. you can literally throw the book at them. Okay. So I think I'm just going to keep moving. Uh, wait, what's going on here? I'm just going to keep uh, buzzing through. Uh, yeah, I like that the Neolithic areas, era is completely different because you don't have that, hey, where do I build my first city? You know, I can't see what's going on. Do I send my warrior out to look around and then build or... In uh, Civ Six, <clears throat> you know, do you move your settler one one uh, one turn? I mean, that's a huge loss there. But uh, so this uh, Neolithic era kind of gets rid of all that era gets rid of all that. Okay, so now I got the wheel. I can build this uh, Zanchi, which is from the Zhao, and I also have roads. Okay. So because I researched the wheel, wheel, I now automatically have roads, I think, if I understand this correctly. So now I'm going to look at my cities. This looks like a road here. There's a road between Patrickville and Patrick Jr. 
Uh, but there's no road between my admin centers that I can see. So let me go to the technologies wheel. Automatically creates roads between cities and, and outposts. Okay, there's kind of a road there. Oh yeah, okay, here's the road. The road is here, goes up here, scoots up here, uh, splits into two, goes, oh, oh, got a nice little uh, bridge there. Goes up here and this road goes uh, a little bit to the east. This is going up to Patrickville. And then this road is going, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. This road is going over here to my other outpost. And then together that road is winding around. Wow, look at that. So the road is right here, but it has to wind all the way up through this valley and come back down to get to Patrick Jr. Um, So yeah, the uh, the pathing is a little a little bit different than Civ VI uh, because in most of civilization, other than the mountains, you can just kind of go in a straight line. Sure, some some tiles take longer than others, but here, getting between Patrick Jr. and this admin center, you have to go. I mean, way around. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, they told me something that I have to learn. Culture chosen. The Mycenaeans reached the classical era with the Achaemenid. Achaemenid, Achaemenid Persians. Well, that's a good culture. Something like that. Patrick Jr.'s population has gained one. Good for me. And so I'll look real quickly at Patrick Jr. I've got one. I've got one population. I've got a maximum of eight. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'm gaining 18 per turn. Let me see if I understand this correctly. Uh, I'm not sure how 27 minus 8 is 18. It sounds like 19 to me. So maybe there's some uh, decimals involved here that they're either rounding weird or, or or not, whatever. So anyway, i got a whole bunch of food coming out. I've got one guy who's eating 8. Presumably when I get two guys, he's going to eat another, another 8. Um, and so I'm getting a guys every two turns. I think I'm going to prioritize... Uh, food and then population just so I can get big and then I'll worry later about what I'm doing. Uh, so he's building animal barns. I still have plenty of money here. Animal barns is going to take 15 turns or I can just spend two-thirds of my wealth and pop it out there. I don't know what I want to spend my... Oh, so I'm not constructing. So I must have just... Okay, so I just built... Something. Okay, so uh, let's see. <clears throat> I can build an emeton. I can build ooh, infrastructure of two. What's going on here? Uh, so I just got done saying I was going to prioritize uh, food. So here's a food priority unit. Um, okay, it wants me to build it down here where I get 13 food and 3 faith. Holy crap. So if I build it up here... Uh, this seems crazy. Helpful. 13 food. It sounds good. So I could finish this up for 490. I don't have 490. So my wild spending spree is going to have to stop. 224. I think that's a little expensive. Wait. Or, oh, buy out with population. Hmm. Buy out with population. What the hell does that mean? I think that was his forced labor thing. Forced labor. Working citizens this hard will send many to an early grave, but sometimes the needs of the empire necessitate sacrifice. Allows population to be consumed in order to complete construction instantly. 
Okay, forced labor is kind of a weasel phrase. Uh, I guess the developers were afraid to use the actual word here, which I guess I'm not going to use either, so that I don't get demonetized. All hail Twitch. All hail YouTube. Uh, okay, so I'm building something. Let's see. I'm building something in all the cities. I don't have enough influence to claim a wonder. I don't think I have enough influence to claim a... Uh... <sighs> claim a territory. I think I would have to get up here. You know, it might be a good idea to get my my uh, troops up into here so that I can claim a ter claim this as a territory. Uh, it does have some copper. Okay, so these guys, I said I was going to put them there on the border. I haven't seen any action on the border there, so I'm going to see if I can get here. Oh, I can get there in one turn. Just, I just got done complaining about. So he can build, claim the territory, cost influence, and it doesn't say how much influence it costs. Oh, let me turn that off. Let me. So I want to claim something over here. So this is a pretty big territory. It goes all the way from uh, these Eurasian mountains up to whatever the hell that is. Uh, okay, so let's see. So it, it thinks I should build an outpost here, which gives me 7 food and 16 industry. Yeah, I've already fell, I've already fallen for that. Um, nice try, though. See, I got, there's just a giant, just a crap load of industry here, but I've only got two, I've only got a couple of, uh, Foods. So I would do want more than uh, than seven food. So what else do I have here? Yeah, Oop. seven food, two food. Six food, six food, two food. Two food, two. Yeah, this is all wasteland up here. Five food, seven food. Ten and nine. Ugh. So I have three extra food, but it cost me seven. Okay, so this whole territory is really crap for food. Uh, yeah, I guess I will, I will go here. Cannot be done as you have to declare war. What do you mean have to declare war? What are you talking about? Come on here. So that's a, that's an unclaimed territory. to hit the wrong button there. Okay, so I'm going to claim that territory. Cost influence. I don't see it cost any influence, but uh, next turn, I guess I have to walk over there, claim that territory. Uh, again, just horrible for food, but uh, whatever. These guys, I want to pop up to... Okay, here's somebody that I don't like. I want to get to here. Understood. Whoa, 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 what's, what's going on here? Okay, so I used... Stop. Stop. So I don't see anybody coming to attack my outpost here. He's just hanging around. What are those? It's the Rider Scouts. 
So I think I'll stay here. I got eyes on the city and those writer scouts. If he tries to come up uh, west, I can move back down to my city. If he tries to come up Uh, come up on the, onto the plateau from the east, I can defend that way. In fact, maybe I will get a little bit closer to my city. There we go. We'll keep an eye on the for him. I do have... Will you accept this offer? What does that mean? Except what offer? Researchers are currently idle. Let's see. Uh, let me go to the tech screen. See what the deal is. Okay, so I, I got sailing so that I could go sail across the sea and see what's going on here. Um, so uh, that's just the cheapest one. Organized war warfare, war warfare is also cheaper. Um, that would be nice. I think I'll just try this. And anyway, I don't want to overthink this stuff. For okay. both of our aspirations. Hmm. Pleasing. What they want to do a non-aggression pack? Oh, hello. Yeah, that's perfect. Yes. Uh no. Again, as soon as the war war support for them gets up to 80 and mine's still up and around at 50, they're gonna attack. Okay, uh, let's do it. Of course, we accept. This makes me content. Yeah, that's not my uh, top priority in life, making you content. Let's see what else. So if I want to say trade luxuries. I think we can undertake a common venture. Do you agree? And why would I accept this proposal? This is your choice? Really? Wow. Yeah, really? Okay, so apparently I don't understand how the trade thing works. Uh, probably shouldn't have traded or offered that trade there. Must have been too soon. Too soon? Whatever. Okay, so let's get back to here. Turn 40. I've talked to their guys. Whoops. Um... I think I'm just ready to pop ahead and see what happens. So now I should be... Oh! Who are, who are these guys? Um, I'm confused. Mercenaries? Independent people? They will not attack me. Um, yeah, they're, they've got more than I am, so I'm going to not attack them either. Uh, I'm going to pop back into my territory. Maybe you've heard this before. Pop back into my territory and, um, heal up. I'm going to go here. Come over here. Now I'm in my territory, so I should heal 20 per turn. Okay, so that's another two turns to get back to full health. I'm cost This guy cost me a, a dollar each turn. I'm making some good money here. Uh, what else do I have to do? I've got two idle army. Wait, oh yeah, so I'm done with him. And this is the other guy. Oh, so where did the... Where did his scouts go? I don't know, but I've got a treaty, so, um, you know, treaties are good. So what do I need to do here? Um, I think I want to claim this territory up here, since I seem to... Yeah, no, that's just junk. That's just junk. Uh, maybe I'll wait till these guys leave, my guys heal up. These, this mercenaries leave, and then I can pop over and put my put my uh, admin center on that. In the meantime, Obsidian. In the meantime, Iron. Um, I am going to go over, take this guy, and just 
me locate him to here. One, two, three, four. Oh, he's, he's on the right. So he's on the road there. Okay, so I'm kind of concentrating my army in the in the middle of my territories, and we'll see what happens. So uh, let's see. One idle army. That's this guy. Claim territory. Tear down a forest. We'll sit around. In turn. So. Oh, uh, today I'm moving over to... Yeah, sorry I'm not hitting the... Uh... Wow, that was ten minutes ago. I'm not hitting the chat as hard as I usually do. So this is, again, a monster energy drink. This one is called Zero Ultra. That's uh, not the best. So, uh, yeah, you, you're going to drink anything? Um, I probably should put the... Uh, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, sorry for uh, missing the stream. I'm missing the uh, comments in the chat. Um, create your religion. So I'm not sure why this uh, popped up. So I can get faith per population or faith per territory. I think long term. Raspberry flavored waters. Okay. Yeah. Um... So I, I don't know why Wall wants me to pick a religion now. I think, didn't I? I don't know. I'll worry about that later. It wants me to pick. I think long term one per population is, is better. So I will found this guy. Again, I'm not trying to min max or jump in there. Uh, this one here, it's not really citrusy. It, and it definitely doesn't ha it def definitely has no carbonation. Um, Yes, it's closer to a grapefruit, I guess I would say. Yeah, yeah, I can see that now. Uh, of course, it doesn't have any grapefruit in there. Oh, the ingredients are carbonated water and citric acid. So, you're absolutely right. Uh, I guess citric... Yeah, I'm getting more of a grapefruit. Uh... Grapefruit is cit citricy, but it's, it's, it, I guess I was confused uh, by the orangeness. Um... So how's your run going? Let's see, you were you're you're on turn fifty three last. Are you playing right now or uh, just sitting back and watching? Okay, two idle armies. So I think I can go here and found my found my guy. Let's do it. Okay. So one turn later, I'm going to have a outpost, and then I can attach it or not attach it. Again, I don't understand. Oh, Greeks, cool. Uh, yeah, let me let me take a look and see what's going on here. Show cultures. Okay, okay, I'm looking at the medieval era. So you're looking at the at the classical era. I mean, you're in the okay. So your Greek guys are classical. So. Um, yeah, I've I can't quite figure out how the uh, how the city works and the loyalty stuff works. Uh, for instance, on this game here, I don't remember how I got this territory down here. Uh, actually, with this outpost here, I do remember attacking that outpost and ransacking it. Um, I did. I do remember ransacking it, and I think when I ransacked it, that that made meant that I controlled it. Um, oh, cool! So that's interesting that the uh, diplomacy is advanced enough that you can demand things, and if they realize you're going to take them, they'll just leave it alone. Okay, so I should have another another uh, territory, and one of the reasons I'm doing that is because. This expansion of star. So as soon as I get the next territory, I'll get a star. So I don't know if I lose that territory, if it takes that star away or not. Guess I'll find out. And I get a hundred fame, which will be nice. Um, I'm working on population, not so much to get this star, but just so I can get powerful. Uh, but boy, getting to 27 just for the first star seems pretty pretty heavy. Okay, so my first sieve, I got two stability on the on the district, and now. We've got two output per farmer. Okay, so that's good. So I think stability and food are good. 
Uh, again, if, if I had picked something else, I would be happy with that, too. So I'm going to leave this guy right here. I think he's completely regenerated. I do want to have somebody kind of around these mercenaries. I know they're not going to attack. But uh, I just feel a little, a little apprehensive about that, not knowing how everything works. Okay, so Patrick Jr. has two. Patrick Phil has six. Oh, there's an encampment up here. Oh. So I don't know what's going on with this encampment. Do I need to get rid of it or just leave it alone? Well, it says they're not hostile. I, I don't have time to. Uh, I don't have time to stir up trouble. I, I had a uh, you know 400 year war with the Hittites who turned into the Huns. Um, that, that kind of drained my resources. Uh, for instance, I've only got two units left. I used to have four or six scouts. They all got chewed up in the war. Oh, no, wait, I think I had f maybe four scouts. It'd be nice to have them back, because then I could run around and maybe claim some territories. Um, I don't really want to claim this northern territory, because there's Jack Diddley Squad up there. Let me turn on the... Uh... Yeah, I don't see any... any food. I'd have to, I'd have to build, like, right here, and still get scraps for food, and... And uh, I'd have a little bit of food, but I'd have no industry. If I, if I built up here, I'd have industry, but no food. Maybe I'd get down, uh, build something down here just to have a science city, but that's pathetic. I mean, it just, yeah. So maybe I would build this, uh, you know, claim this territory here. Uh, this far northern territory, just kind of for the sake of claiming territory. But anyway, let me pop back into my game here. One idle army. Okay. Okay, so I have 375 gold. If I wanted to build... So it would cost me 200 to finish up these animal barns, or I could wait for seven turns. 200, well, that would give me, leave me with 175. I don't think that's horrible. Let me go ahead and finish up these animal barns. Uh, what do I get for an animal barn? More food. More food, more food. Now yeah, let's do it. Now I have to decide what I want to construct. So my food should go way up. 16, 12, 8. Okay. And we're back, so um, I'm kind of focusing on population here. That gives me some good food. Patrickville. Oh, Patrickville is kind of kind of toasted up here. So I might want. I might. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, so, but now I have to decide what I want to construct here. Now, this I have no idea what the hell this is. Shared projects. I do not know what that is. I've never heard about it before. Uh, hey, Captain Hartship, if you've heard of shared projects. Okay, so whatever shared with who? Shared with... I don't know. Okay, so uh, that cost, that'll cost me 34 turns, so that seems like a pretty big investment. It will give me lots of faith, lots of stability, and lots of stability on the district where I build it. Yeah, so this would be huge. Let me just see if they have any suggestions. Okay, so I could build it anywhere I wanted. Uh, th I think it's too expensive right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away from that. Um, let's see. So I could build some units here, or I could spend 250 industry and make five food per turn for 21 turns. So if I knew what five times 21 was, I would have a pretty good idea what the exchange rate was. Oh, here we go. Pentaconter. Five 
Oh, 50. Man by 50 oarsmen. Oarsmen. Pento Kant must mean 50. Penta means 5, obviously. You know what? I'm I'm hot to get a... Uh, I'm hot to get uh, some sort of sea thing. Let me pop way out here just to kind of over-explain what's going on. If I get some sea thing, uh, a seafaring vessel, I can, oh, at the very least, uh, circumnavigate this uh, continent here. Or more likely, maybe I could take a scout and then pop over to the other continent and drop the scout off. And that might be the idea here. Uh, so a pentaconter and a scout would cost me two pop. <sighs> Um, but I'm getting one pop every three turns out of this city here, at least the way I've got it set up right now. S but I have to build a harbor first. So this, this is a harbor. That's going to cost me 89 units, eight turns. So I'd have to build a... Harbor for 89, which gives me money if I'm adjacent to a market quarter, which I'm not. Uh, then I would have to build a... Wait, how much did that cost? 89? That cost 89 uh, industry. And then I would have to build a pentaconter, which costs 45. So that's 134, and then I would want to build a scout. It cost me 23, which is 157, and two pop. The two pop is what kills me. On the other hand, I'm, I'm gaining pop pretty quick. So I'm going to build a harbor. I don't want to overthink that. Oh, here we go. So I can build a harbor anywhere on, the, on a coastal square. And they're recommending that I build it in one of these two places, because I get 11 and lose 8 stability. Whereas every place else I lose 8 stability and get less than 11. So that's, so this is a, di the harbor is a district that apparently is hooked up to the city or the outpost. And then maybe later on I can put a, uh, hang on a sec. Plus 3 money per adjacent market quarter. So I don't have the maker's quarter or marker's quarter? Decent market quarter. So I don't have the uh, tech to build a market quarter. Uh, so I'm just going to pick whichever one they want me to. And I think I would want to be here. Either one of these is just fine. Uh, I would pick this one simply because it's uh, farther away from the Huns. Okay. So I'm building that. That's going to take... Eight turns, cost me 232 to, to rush it. I don't have that, or just as an aside. Wait, did I, is it being built there or not? Yeah, there it is. Uh, or I could, I could use three pop. Boy, that's a forced labor thing. It's pretty expensive. Um, so what am I building here? So I got one turn left on this guy. <clears throat> so what should I build next? I don't want a harbor. See, if I build a harbor here, there's only... Yeah, that would be dumb. So I'm going to do that not. Or I could build an artisan's quarter, which gives me money. or And the luxury dis, luxury deposit. So, okay, so it looks like I can put districts outside of the square... Uh, the tiles that are around the city. So this is silver... This is I don't know what the hell this is. Okay, so it has to be in my district. Is that right? No, it doesn't. How about incense? Oh, so they, he's already built uh, these artisan's quarters for the incense and the copper, which is why I have the copper, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so... 2 2 2 2 2, two Silver. Uh, so this is silver. This is obsidian. Obsidian. 
So I don't know what the difference between these uh, resources is, but I am going to build silver just because I can. Okay, so I'm building a nematon. Once that's done, I'm going to start with the silver, uh, silver uh, artisan's quarter. Once that's done, I probably should start one of these infrastructure things. So, animal barns. Okay, so I've been, we did this already. Here's some new stuff. Why is it red? Public fountain. Do I need stability? It does not look to me like I, like I need stability. So I'm going to keep saying that until it becomes not true and then I will panic. Uh, so I'll worry about that later. Fortification. Industry. Industry. Industry per copper. Uh, this is food per horse. And it helps the farmer's quarters for food per farmer's. So this is more useful in Patrickville because there are more farmers there. And this is flood irrigation to food on earth. I don't think I have any rivers up there. I'm just going to pick this. Try not to think too much about it. Move on to the next thing, which is one idle... One idle army. So is that this guy? Okay, so I still have one turn for this. Um... I think I do want to leave him there for now. So I'm going to turn, turn him down so that the intern is on. I want to look real quickly at these guys. To oh, what my war do support I owe is 13. And their war support is 8. Okay, so this treaty... I tried to... Okay, so I can't propose a treaty for another three turns. Oh, I claimed a territory on their border. Okay, that was that territory I just claimed. You don't like that? You know what? Put on your big boy pants. You have no idea what's going on. Okay, so their, res their resources are... Obsidian and Silk? Oh, I can buy obsidian or silk or horses. Interesting. So I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, it allows me to end my turn. I've got a religion. I've got zero followers. Oh, religion screen. Ah, cool. So I don't know what this is. I'll take a look at that later because it doesn't really bother me right now. I'm going to switch to the next turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, shared project. Okay, so it's not shared between uh, empires. It's shared between cities. Okay. That makes sense. Every, all the cities... Ooh, what the, hell, what the hell is this? Okay, it looks like next turn, everybody is going to convert to self shamanism in my empire. So I guess that's good. I don't know. <laughs> hey, thanks for... Uh, Thanks for hanging out, uh, Captain Hardship. I appreciate it, and I apologize for not being able to not getting back uh, quick on the uh, on the chat. Um, I just get focused on the screen and don't see the chat over there. But uh, it's on me. Okay, so now let me pull back. Well, how come I don't own this? Okay, this is this is the group, which I renamed Happy Killers. This is this this is the outpost. Uh, which I think I can attach to somebody. Right? Evolve your outpost into a city. That is not gonna happen because it's in a super crappy location, which I learned when I evolved this outpost into a city. Um So I can't, I can't uh, attach this guy. So 
So do you attach from the outpost or do you go to the city and attach from the city? Yeah, so there used to be a little, well, I guess I'm, I won't worry about it. I will go to Doreen. First, I'm going to rename it. No, I can't rename it. Um, I can build, I can relocate it or build an artisan's quarter. For 21 fame. Well, that doesn't sound like too bad of a deal. So what's going on here? So they think I should build the artisan's quarter on copper. That sounds like a good idea. Sure, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I went ahead and did it. So I guess I could build it again. Build another one here. Uh, let me hold off on that. So I think if I go to Sovereign, trade, how can I help you? See now I've got two, two silk and one in. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. One copper. Uh, let me just plow ahead. Uh, stop thinking so much. I do have an encamp encampment right there, so I think I want to go. Oh, so if I take my guys and attack this encampment, I think the uh, peaceful mercenaries are going to get annoyed. So I'm going to not do that. And there's really nothing around here to find. So like in the nomadic era, and I think a little bit in the ancient era, I was able to wander around and find science and other things. Um, here's copper. Here's another copper or silk. Oh. Silk. Okay, this says I have two silk. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what this is all telling me. Um, but I've got my cities are built. Okay, here we go. Here's the. Uh, Here's the attachment thing, suddenly just showed up, or maybe I didn't see it earlier. So I think if I, whoa, attach terrain. Okay, so let me, let me get out of here. So if I go here, I've got, uh, so I've got uh, 13 food. 57 industry, so I think I'm over industrizing that one. 20 money and 21 science. That's from Patrick Film. And then Patrick Jr. is getting 16 food, 12 industry, 8 money, 5 science, and then Tareen is getting 7 food. 15 industry, well, not industry, three money and zero science. So now if I attach, let's see what happens. Oh, so the catch button doesn't show up until I, I'll, I'll click out of terrain, so. Okay, so I don't have an adjacent outpost. I do have an adjacent outpost. I'm going to attach him for 92 of my fame. Oh, I've got an heiress. Okay, right, I did get an era star. I'll check that out later. What I want to do now though is Patrickville now has 23 food, 75 industry, 24 money, and 22 science. And then Patrick Jr. has the same. 16, 12, 8, 5. So I used to have 20 between Patrickville and Turin, I had 20. Now I have 23. I used to have 72. Now I have 75. I used to have 23, uh, sorry, 70, 72 industry. Now I have 75. I used to have 23 money. Now I have 24 money. And I used to have 20, 21 
Science, and I have 22 science. So somehow, uh, because I attached the outpost of Terrine to Patrickville, I got an extra... Extra three food, extra two industry, uh, industry, ex extra one money, extra one science. So that's, I'll have to figure out later exactly what the mechanics are on that, but it looks like attaching uh, outposts is a good thing to do. So that's my analysis of that. So now I need to go in and this industry is crazy. I don't need 75 industry. So I've kind of decided I want to focus on food that I can have up to five farmers. Or seven farmers, maybe, I'm not sure, but I don't need... I get one population every every two turns. That would, that's nice. So I can, I can move it into money or science. I think I want the food. There we go. And now I go to... Patrick Jr., I think I'm pretty well set. We get one pop every three turns. Yeah, that should be okay. So, there we go. So now what am I doing here? I've got ant focus, let's see. Faith, don't know what's going on. I've got one turn left before I have to do something, and then another turn left before I have to do something technology-wise and specific-wise. Uh, I've got two idle armies, one of which is sitting right here. I just, I'm afraid if I ransack the encampment. Ransack. Um, this seems like a dumb idea. It seems like a really dumb idea, but I get some... I get 22 gold, which I don't really need, but don't really not need. Yeah, I think I'll not do... Well, maybe that encampment is just going to keep spawning barbarians. And maybe if I tear down the encampment, the... the uh, sorry, the mercenaries... mercenaries will turn against me. Boop, 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 boop. You know what? I'm actually going to look at the uh, Encyclopedia Humanica and uh, type in mercenaries. Merc. Oops, not W. Oh, Patrick, I want to go here. This is um, mercenaries. Independent people or mercenaries? Let me try that and see what's going on here. Okay. Independent. Here we go. Hello. Independent peoples. Okay, I don't know what he's talking about here. Inception. Independent people are counterparts of they are short-lived nations of smaller territories and armies that players will share with the world. Since Independent people will start appearing at the end of the ancient era, at the beginning of the ancient era, from random sp sp spawn points. Unlock the ability to hire independent peoples as mercenaries, which I'm guessing is a tech. So I, I think I'm going to just ignore everything and move on to the next turn. 
Uh, two idle armies, so I need to... kind of sitting around they sh I feel like they should be doing something but I tell you what I'm going to do I am going to move this guy over to here so that he's near the okay so he used up all his movement points to jumping on that river so now he can pop down to this river here oh he was ah, he was already on that road I wanted to keep him so he could pop up this guy He's got four movements. I'm going to move him over here just so I can Let's see go. what the hell is going on in Hunland. Holy cow, he's really produced 13? What the hell is going on here? This could be trouble. This could be trouble. So, uh, let's see. I'm just going to have him... We'll keep an eye on In turn... Debate and discussion are not the pastimes of the idle, but the actions of thinkers and movers who will touch every aspect of civilization. Okay, so I can build a market quarter. I reduce the influence cost of civics. I can build a food market. Wait. Oh, that's an infrastructure thing. Or house of scribes. So more science for researchers. I don't have a lot of uh, researchers right now. I'll probably leave that alone. Money seems uh, okay. And the new notification is Patrick Jr. converted to a new religion. Patrick Jr. gained a population. Have a lot writing. Why does that have a four underneath it? I don't know. I'm seriously, 13, 11, 10? Well, I guess I'll find out later if I'm uh, way overmatched. But uh, let's see, go to technology screen. Okay, so I got my sailing guy going. It looks like I'm going to need organized warfare, which gives me reinforcements. Barracks. Training level one. I don't know what training means, but I guess I'll find out. Battering ram. Siege weapon. Okay, let's see. What else do I have here? So they think I should do standing army. I think I'll look at one of these sixes here. So philosophy, just real quickly, I get uh, plus one to the city camp. City cap, I can build a research quarter. I can build a, s build a school. Trade expeditions, that might be kind of cool. I can get a transport gallery, galley. And get more money. Aqueduct. Hygiene goes up. Industry on river. I don't have any rivers. Food on river. No, I don't need that hot hydrology. Military camps. Stone walls. Yeah, if you're if you're defending, probably losing. Conscripted volunteering citizen militia are cheap and readily available. Uh, okay, they the upkeep cost is zero. So this that would be kind of nice. Standing army. Okay, I can find iron, so I, I do need to find iron. So that's uh, City Watch. Naked people. Yeah, so I'm all in favor of naked people and uh, City Watch running around on horses. So that's that. I've got six turns to my next uh, tech screen. I've got zero turns to civics. Okay, and then I've got religion so it looks like people are converting so I've got uh, nine followers oh I'm converting people in uh, Hunland 
that makes me feel good. So five turns from now, if nothing happens, I'll convert a bunch of unland people. Uh, one turn. So I've got one more turn in. The, that must be my new. Yeah, that's my new uh, outpost. Okay. So uh, I'm going to head off to the little boy's room for a second. Let's see, where is my... Be back soon. There we go. So um, I'm going to switch over to this. I'll be back as soon as I can after the, the little boy's room. Having fun, Cassie? Yeah. There we go. Now we have the water. Fun, Porter? Yeah. Fun, fun, Cassie? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Right, now we have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Fun, fun, Cassie? Have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Right. Yeah. There we go. Now we have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now well, we have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun. Cassie? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we 
have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Yeah. We have the water. You having fun, Porter? Yeah. Having fun, Cassie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now right, we have the water. Okay, we're back. Uh, good to see everybody here. I'll try not to shout too much. Let's see what the deal is here. So um, I was looking at some stuff. Not too much stuff going on. Turn 44. I've got the two idle armies um, sitting around there. I think I will send these guys down. Oh, so they get... See, I thought the whole point of this uh, rivers was that you would stay on the rivers and do your movements that way. But it looks like I'm popping back onto the onto the road. And then the road is on a river, so that road being on a river must negate the, the river problem. And then I just follow the road down here. And they've got one turn left, so I can't go to any of these because it's too big of a drop there. I'm just going to sit there for now. My other army is... Oh, this guy's got an industry going. Not, not really... Something you associate with the Huns. Let me just pop in here. Okay, cannot be done. Okay. Thought I'd just pop in there and take a quick look around. Um, I think I'll head down here. Just, whoa. Off we go. You know, it's like I'm walking on the rivers to get to the roads, to get and then the roads to get to the rivers, and then the river road, and then the river to get down here. So he's out of, out of uh, juice. So I'm going to go to my next turn. Again, not trying to spend uh, too much time thinking about. Uh-oh, so the trade routes are out. Yeah, that's, that is not a good situation. Um, so it, the uh, humankind looked pretty neat because they had a switch right at the start where you can, where you can uh, click it to uh, friendly, which as near as I can tell means the other guys won't attack you unless you attack them first. So if you attack them, it sounds like they'll continue the war to the end. But then after that, or if you don't attack them in the first place, uh, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, that, seemed, that seemed interesting to me. Um, because a lot of times when I'm playing Civilization and now uh, Humankind, I, it's kind of like the war seems like a distraction. I know a lot of people really like to jump into the war and crank out a bunch of units and then go smash the other guys, but... Um, I don't like to do that unless necessary. So now what I've got is, uh, it's telling me some stuff. Turin converted to a new religion. Turin is my encampment here. Oh, look at that. That's kind of funny. So it's right up on the side of a hill. It's got a river. It's got a road going through it. Another road coming out of it. Uh, cool. Anyway, so is this terrain? This is called administrate. That's called terrain. Okay, so I'm going to let that go. Uh, okay. Um, so what other things does it want to tell me? So it says, one idle city and urgent affairs require your attention. I'm going to go to my idle city. Let's say here I'm building a harbor. Okay, so I just finished the granary, so I should get plus two food. Oh my gosh, 30 food? That seems like a huge amount. Um, so I'm getting one population every two turns, so I think I'm doing okay. So I'm really cranking out the industry, so that makes things go fast. The money is good. The science, I'm probably a little bit behind on science, um, but I'll let it go. So I think 
Ooh, five turns to do this uh, stone ring. So that doesn't sound too bad. More faith, more stability, which I don't need, and new stability on district. Wait, sorry. Uh, I think I'll hold off. I don't really see what that is doing for me. This is a Nemeton. I don't have one of those in Patrickville, although I do have one in Patrick Jr. What else you got for me? Farmer's Quarter, Maker's Quarter, Morning Quarter, Garrison, Harbor, which I don't want, and Artisan's Quarter, which is money. So what's the difference between these two? Market Quarter, money, Stability's down. Traders. What is a trader? I don't know what a trader is. This gives you money and stability. Must be placed on a luxury resource. Uh, you know what? I probably should find a luxury resource. And so there's one here, and one here. So this is silk, and this guy is unknown. Oh, here's another one. Um, one, two, 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 one, three, two. Uh, you know, I'll put it up here just for fun. So that'll take one turn. Let me let me figure out what I'm going to build next. I could build another one of these. Infrastructures. Blood irrigation. Animal barns. Yeah, so I don't... Okay, mountain. Here we go. Industry on mountain. So this is kind of a mountain place. I have two mountains. So this would give me... Two industry. Return for... For the cost of 120 turns. So this has got a 60 turn payback. And I'm going to pass. Oh, scribe school. Um, plus one science for researchers. I'm not using my science researchers very much. I don't need any more researcher slot. I don't need stability. Cannot be done as it does not does not add anything useful. Okay, well, units. So I could build a pretty powerful twenty three, sixteen, thirteen, nineteen. 18. So this would be the most powerful unit I could build. I probably should build one of these. That's my that's my special unit. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So uh, Captain Hardship uh, again. Sorry for uh, delay in response. Um, the war the wards wars do take a big big build up. Um, but then if you eliminate your neighbor and you take over his, his uh, territory, it feels good. I mean, it doesn't feel good. Well, yeah, it feels good. But you get all of his stuff. Um, but it seems like while you're doing it, it's just kind of a distraction and it's super high priority. I, look, I actually get kind of nervous. Okay, I'm going to build a Zanshi. Uh, they've got six movement and they've got a 23 uh, strength. So I'll do one of those. And then what else do I need? A feast. So 250... Public ceremony. How long does a public ceremony last? I don't understand this. I get five food once or forever. Yeah, so I don't know what that is. I'll worry about that later. I probably should look it up. You know what? I'm going to look it up. Because feast, repeatables. Okay, so you're just saying the same thing. Go 904, the game's going great. Uh, hang on a quick second. Sorry to...
back. Sorry, sorry for the, uh... Okay, uh... Yeah, so I looked at the feast action. I, I don't get it. I spent 500 industry to get five food. That, I guess I'm not understanding what's going on here. Is five food when completed? So this five stability, I, th I think. Okay, so every time you repeat it, it costs more. Let's fight faith on holy sight. Plus five food. You know, maybe I should buy it just so I can figure out what the heck it does. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this cost me 250. I'm going to put that in there. So I'm, right now I'm, I'm building an artisan's quarter. Okay, that was for the silver, I think it was, for silk. And then I'm going to build a zanshi, and then I'm going to, then I'm going to build the feast. So that's at least something. Uh... Urgent Affairs. Okay, the Steed for Colossus. The citizens of the fabled horse city of Patrick Jr. Ooh, the Stallion. Okay, this sounds like uh, Arist Aristotle. Um, Alexander the Great here. Okay, so this gives me... Uh, Tradition moves to tradition by one unit, and then ride doesn't move anything at all. Oh, it gives you five food once every time you use it. Well, I guess I'll, uh, you know, maybe I'll kill that because I don't want to spend 500 industry to get five food. It seems like a bad. Okay, so. Triggering another narrative event. If I win, oh, if I win or I don't win, I will get plus 10 stability, which I don't need. If I don't do this, I get in the next five turns land, air, naval units. I think that's the way to go. I don't want to overthink it too much. Over overthink it. Uh, so I probably should start. I got five on this harbor. And then if I go over to... Wait, is that five naval unit on... Ugh, geez. So this guy costs 90. Whereas if I go here, this guy costs 72. So I have no idea what's going on. You know what? I'm just going to ignore everything and move on with my life. I probably should have... Uh, whatever. Who knows what I should have done. Okay, Monkey Swings on Trees says Raccoon. And then Monkey Swings on Trees says Sloth. So uh, that's what Monkey Swings on Trees is telling us. Oh, I did want to go here and kill the beast. Uh, just I, I must be missing something because I don't understand what good it does. So I'm going to... Two idle armies. So here's the first one. I'm gonna leave them there, and here's the second one. I'll leave them there. If I do attack, this is a good, good I'm real close to his capital city, and I can get down through these uh there's no cliffs or anything. So I'm just gonna leave him here. Keeping an eye. Leave him here. Wait. In turn. Hop over to Inn's turn. Now they're complaining that I have two idle armies. Two idle armies. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, wait, what, what happened there now? Just something, something happened when I... Okay, so this encampment keeps cranking out these mercenaries. I don't know where they go. Never really paid much attention to them. Um, maybe I can hire them? Wait. Hmm. 
It says... Ready. Ready to follow yours if it's not. Okay, so I misunderstood that. Since I don't know what's going on, I'm going to ignore it. Uh, let's see. Two idle armies. Same deal. Yes, stop. Stop. End turn. This emblematic unit certainly appears to be ready to leave their mark on something. Or someone. Okay, so to hire the mercenaries, I need a good reputation with them somehow. I don't know how to get that, but... Uh, again, I'm just going to play through and not try... It. Okay. Unknown has gained renown as a traitor, so that's somebody... Probably one of these uh, populations here, uh, empires here. Yes, I'm playing. I'm playing with uh, three other populations, three other empires. I've only met the one here, so I'm guessing the other continents have the other populations on them. Um, and I'm trying to play through just to kind of to buzz through. You can see up on the right here where I'm looking at the uh, culture and the and the civics. I'm just picking stuff more or less at random. Uh, they belong to the NOK. Yeah. It's, I thought I saw that. There they are. Okay, so they build terracotta structures. Electra. Oh, there's. Okay, so they've got another, another uh, outpost there, and then. Okay, so there wasn't. There was an outpost like right around here. They must have moved it. Interesting. I'm kind of glad I didn't attack it. What is this thing here? Maybe that's their old outpost. I'm confused. Oh, it's got a cave. You know what? I'm going to go look into the cave and see what the deal is with that cave. Follow me. I don't even care. I don't even care. Um. In the territory. Ransack. Okay, can't ransack that. Turn off the ransack. Stop ransacking. There we go. Clear forest. Oh, so I did find their city. There used to be a city right here where this cave was uh, for the for the uh, mercenaries, and they would spawn out of there and kind of wander around. And I went over and looked at it, and all it said was, uh, you know, I had the normal ransack stuff. I must have missed something. Uh, that allowed me to talk to him, maybe? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I think there's a cave here. Well, I know there's a cave here. It says there's a cave. So I can't go in the cave and have adventures, which is what I thought, but I can have uh, more science or something. Interesting. So I've got three three attack units left. I'm just going to come back here. Let's go. Whatever. This guy... You know what? I'm going to go down here and explore. Explore the end of the edge of this continent here. So assuming that's all coastal area there, but I guess I'll find out. And oh, here's my guy. I like you. Um, what do I want to do? You know what? I'm going to send him over to my harbor, which will be built soon, over here somewhere. Uh, and then when the harbor gets created, I'll build a ship. I'll maybe I can embark this guy on a ship, and then. At a, at a six movement point, I can pop him over on some other continent and he can run around. Uh, depending on whether or not that creates a war or not. I guess I'll find out. Okay, so everybody's moved. They want me to look a civic, okay? A new civic for leadership. Oh, leadership. Show details. Okay, so I'm going to have to pick one of these. And that's either going to put me... So that's going to get rid of some stability. Because I'll, ha I'll have 5 stability instead of 10. And I've got better vision range on districts. 
I'm not sure exactly what that means. This thing here says plus two influence on emblematic districts. So I do have an emblematic district. Uh, so the small council or a zero council. I'm going to go with the small council. Most problems eventually okay. yield to the onslaught of more brains. Divine mandate, codified laws, small council. Okay, so let me go to civics. Okay, I was just there at civics. Let me go to here. Okay, so I've lost five stability, but I have plus two influence on emblematic district. I've got 112 influence or fame. I'm getting 38 per turn. Stability. Yeah, I'm not sure what all this means, but uh, I'm going to ignore it for right now. So normally I would probably go through here, look at my emblematic district, which is this uh, Confucian school, and I should get plus two stability from Harmonious Thought. That's the Empire bonus. I should get plus two stability from... Liberty, or whatever that's called. Plus six science. Plus two influence from ideology. There it is. Plus two influence from ideology. That's, that's what I was looking for. All right. So two of this 38 influence uh, comes from the selection that I just made, the small council. This says that I'll come, yeah, districts. So it does come from that district there. So instead of overthinking it, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, I saw that the little glowing thing that said cave, and I thought, uh, hey, this is going to be cool. I'll pop in there, and there'll be some. Hey, oh, do you want to fight the Minotaur, or you know, do you want to, uh, you know, wrestle, uh, wrestle an alligator or something? And you'll get, you'll either lose and look like an idiot, or win, and you know, people will remember you forever. Um, but whatever. I mean, that's, that's kind of fun. Electra. I'm just going to stay away from these mercenaries. Not going to worry about it. Doesn't seem like it's a big problem for me. Okay, so what am I looking at here? So I'm looking at one idle city. So I just built the Zanshi. So now I need to do something else. I probably should build an, let's see, one food, one food, three food per number of attached territories. Let's see. So that suggests that I build it on one of these areas here, which I think I've already. Holy crap, that goes from two to 15. Let me pop out of here. So. so I already have a farmer's quarter, so they want me to build this on top of the farmer's quarter. Yeah, so that's a bad idea. So let me go back to here. Okay, so I get... So I build it on top of the farmer's quarter, I get more, 13 more food, three more faith, whatever that does, and then two more fame. I, I could use the fame. Or I could build it like down here, I get 13, three, two. And I'm, okay, I'm over on this guy here. I think I want to build it by my city. Okay, I'm going to build it right here. Ah, uh, sure. We'll see what happens. Okay, so that's going to take uh, three turns, and then what do I build after that? Let's build some sort of infrastructure. Ooh. Food on the harbor, or food on the river. I don't have any rivers. don't have any s scholars. don't want to use any units. I don't want to get five food. That just seems dumb. 
I must be missing something on that. Uh, let's build some animal barns. That'll be good. So let's keep going. Um, yeah, so according to this, uh, Zatio905, the, uh, these guys are indifferent and they will not attack me. So maybe there's like mean mercenaries. I, I think this is kind of like the barbarians. Like, oh yeah, there's barbarians out there, but you don't have to worry about them. But maybe there's other barbarians out there that you do have to worry about. What does Zenith mean? Well, they have a city. A city called Electra, which is right here. Oh. Uh, so... They are all the way to the to this side, individualism, and all the way to the authority side. I am halfway there, and I moved away from authority to liberty by, by picking the small council. Yeah, so I don't really know what's going on there, uh, and my theory is, hey, I'm just playing through to see what happens. Uh, if I click the intern button and they come down and burn both of my cities down and dance on my grave, then I'll learn not to do that. So I'll learn not to let the barbarians go. But for right now, I'm just going to keep buzzing through, see what happens here. Okay, I've got a grievance. Who did that? The Huns. Sovereign, the Huns. how can I help you? You are concerned for the people of Nessa under the unjust, unjust rule of the Huns. So I don't see the Huns as giving us Nessa. And I don't remember where, where Nessa is. Um, I'm going to assume I can get out of here and then come back to this later. So Nessa. So this is mine because of religion. So the, the, the guys in uh, Nessa are going to convert to you know, my shamanism, Celtic shamanism, and then they're mine at that point. I mean, they're culturally, religiously mine. At that point, I can clash with the Huns. And uh, see what's going on. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Oh wait, how do I get back to that? Oh, there we go. Um, this grievance will expire in 10. Oh. Okay, they're gonna, I'm going to suspend all trade, which I have none. I have none trade, so that doesn't really bother me any. If I renounce it, I create a demand. I have no idea what that means. Renounce to, to create a demand. There's a demand. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. I just, I'm not, I just don't want to get involved. Um, yeah, so apparently the uh, mercenaries are not going to attack me. Uh, I don't, they're up there in the Northern Territory. Where there's not really anything I'm worried about or we even want up there. And uh, I don't particularly want to get involved in another war. I just want to do my stuff. Uh, I'm just what's done this. is so done. I got rid of that. As you wish. They claimed a territory on my border, blah, blah, blah. I think I want to go here, so. Do they want this or not want this? Trade. Okay, so right now, I've got a bunch of luxury goods. They've got luxury goods. So I think it would make sense to trade. 
So, and they don't want that. What do you so, say? Screw you and guys. And why would I accept this proposal? Very well. Your course is set. Okay, so I think we're going to be not friends. Um, treaty proposal refused, so I have a grievance with them now. Don't really care. They claim to the territory on our border. Uh, whatever. I don't have enough war support. I, I'm not. I'm going to just uh, ignore the Huns and hopefully they go away. So, let's see. I've got three things I need to do. Three idle armies. Okay, so the first one is the Zanshi. They're going to have to wait around. Why don't I head down here? You know what? Maybe I should head up here. Should have head up here and scoured around. Um... Yeah, I'd like to walk around this continent here, but I don't think the Huns are going to let me. So let, let me go here. And then, will they let me in there? Need to declare war, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to hang around. My other guy is... Oh, wait, let me go back to him and say, yeah, let's pause him out. The next guy... Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Yeah, he was the guy I thought was going to go into the cave, which seems super cool. No such luck. Um, let me worry about this guy here. So I want him to come down here. All right. Ooh, there we go. There's uh, Florida or something down there. Uh, that, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the coastline, but maybe there's a whole another a continent right there. Let me make sure I can understand this boundary here. Yes, sir. So I'm going to try to head down and make sure I can see what this boundary is. Now how far my empire, my uh, territory goes. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like this is the whole thing here. So I, I've uncovered a couple of uh, spots here. They're all dry grass, so that gives me one food and nothing else. Yeah, that's Florida. Okay, so let me pull back and see. So I've explored all of my territory. Except for this part right up here, because who gives a crap? And I can't really see what's going on in the Huns' territory, but once I get my boat, I should be able to drive around. I guess I'll find out if that's in fact true. I'll let him sit. Uh, okay, now he's sitting right here. Um, you know what? Maybe I will pop over. Well, there's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. I'm just going to stay here. Now let me in the turn. Banding army research. Okay, so now I've got to do something else. So that gives me iron. So that's what the main thing I wanted was to find iron. Okay, this is a 25 that can move 6, has a range of 1, and an upkeep of 5. Keep a 5 for Swordsman. Uh, that's pretty heavy. Let me look at my Zanshi here. They've got an upkeep of 3. Okay, so uh, let's see. What I need to do here is get excited and do something about something. Okay, so let me pick my next technology. So I picked Standing Army so I could find Iron. I don't need Mounted Warfare. Let's see. Maybe I'll go back and, you know, uh, pick up some of these. Oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I do like Trade Expeditions just because I've, I've bought a boat. That gives me a new boat. Wait, that has two movement strength of two. How about, how about this guy here's got a movement strength of four? Well, I don't get it. Yes, I have no idea what the hell this is. Cannot be done until the early modern era, so I don't need that. 
Uh, I don't have any rivers that I need to worry about. Philosophy. I can create a school. I can create a research quarter. And I, my city cap can go up. So I'm pretty sure I want to do philosophy. What happens? Oh, never, whoops, never mind. I'm do that. Ah! How do I undo this? How do I undo this? Okay, so I undid these two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for philosophy, and then uh, who knows what I'm gonna do next? And then maybe I'll just just to keep it simple, go back and pick up all the things that I haven't done. Don't want to overthink this particular run here. So Celtic shamanism, uh, zero holy sites. As soon as I get to 25, then I can do something. Oh, as soon as I get to 25, something will happen, I guess. Maybe one of these will unlock. Okay, so everybody on this continent is becoming uh, Celtic. All right, so that's the power of religion. What am I looking at? Urgent affairs require your attention. Ah, here we go. Whew. So, uh, this moves me back to the order side. This moves me to the homeland side. And this moves me to the individualism side. Uh, so I guess I don't really, I mean, all of these are in there. I mean, all these, sorry. All of these maintain the same level of bonuses. In recognition of your elevated status, oh, please, please. A great artist has been accompanying you and your retinue as you travel the... Sounds fine. Okay, so I have a huge tapestry. I can hang it, and for five turns I'll get patriotic stuff, which I didn't use before, although right now, as soon as that harbor gets completed, I'm going to build a naval unit, so maybe. So for five turns, I'll get increased combat strength. I'm not going to be at war in the next five turns, he said. Or I can sell it and get 15 money for five turns? Holy crap. That seems like the way to go, but uh, I think I will hang it, let people know what a great person I am. That moves me back towards authoritarianism, which uh, I think that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really affect my bonuses, and I get in the next five turns, I'd be able to save 20% 20 on a naval unit. Okay, don't want to overthink it. I just want to play. Okay, so everything's going fine. I'm bopping along. Uh, let's see. Five turns for research. Three idle armies. So uh, let me just real quickly. I've got four in Patrick Jr. So let me look at my uh, my era scores, era stars. So I've got one already for destroying fifth, destroying twelve units. If I could destroy three more, I get two hundred. Wow. Oh, my second star gets 200. So it's 100, 200, 300 maybe. And this is 150, 300, 450 would be my guess. Okay, so two more scientist stars. I get more fame or whatever this is called. And I get a star. So I need seven and I've got two. Yikes. Um, I'm not accumulating the money. So I need two more territories. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, influence. Okay, so influence is different from fame, apparently. And builder stars. So I probably can keep building districts. Uh, four more districts. So I can, get, I can probably get four more districts and uh, two more uh, technologies. That'll give me two more stars. Um, oh, 27 pop. Yeah, I'm, that's going to take a while. So I might get two more stars. We'll see what's going on. 
Uh, show cultures. Aztecs, Byzantines, Franks, Ghanaians, Teutons, Khmer, English, Mongols, Umayyads, Norsemen. Celts. So I'll probably just pick one of those more or less at random. If you look at my uh, if you look at my new run um, artificial AI artificial AI um, air bones AI uh, my air stars I'm just trying to get the minimum so I'm not gonna once I get the seven air stars I'm just gonna pop over to the medieval um, I'm not gonna stick around and try to get extra air stars so that I can get more fame or get more uh, transcendent units or whatever um, I said I was going to get the cheapest tech, but I spent a little bit of time thinking about tech, so that's probably... I'm probably overthinking this. I just want to buzz through. And the culture, I'm more or less going to pick at random. So I picked a Aesthete culture. I got two stability on district, which is nice. Uh, Druidic lore, which I get two food per farmer. And then the next one, I'll probably pick something that's not Aesthete and not uh, Agrarian. Oh, here we go. I did not know that was there. Crew fame. So I've got 1,600 fame. Everybody else is a little bit behind, but not too much. Uh, the Huns are the lowest. They don't have any era stars, and they've got 1,200 fame. I got to tell you, though, they, they've got that industry cranking away. Um, let's talk less and do more. Okay, so uh, by the way, I'm creating a um, district. So let me look at this thing again. Districts. Where's the district thing? Militarist, scientist, merchant, builder. There it is. So I've got 15 districts, 11. So I should have 12 pretty soon. And then, uh, yeah, I should be able to keep cranking away at the districts. Get, get my air star so I can move on. And again, everybody's doing something except my army. So the first army is this guy. There's nothing down here for me to take a look at. I don't know how far out I can see. Oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. So this is a coastal water and this is an ocean. So my guess is, let me take a quick look. My guess is that the Pentecostal Pentecostal. Pentecoster, the 50 row, 50 row oars. Okay, so there's a four. It can move four. Uh, tiles, the upkeep is one. That's not too bad. It's coastal. Okay, so you spend more than one turn in deep water, then you'll be destroyed. So that's kind of interesting. If you can see across to the other land, you can spend one turn in there. Let's see what this trading expeditions is. Coastal ship. Okay, so at some point, it's got to be a non-coastal ship. Seafaring master. There we go. A cog. I think those are uh, Dutch. Ooh, 20? Uh, the upkeep is 20? Holy crap. Receives less damage from consecutive turns spent in deep water. So less damage than what? Oh, here we go. Quadream. Damage by consecutive turns spent, spent in deep water. So the, the coastal ship is... This, when you hit your second turn in, second turn in deep water... You're going to die. The quadrium, you hit your second turn, turn in deep water, you're going to get damaged. Yeah, okay. So I don't want to overthink it. Uh, five turns to build whatever it is I'm building. I don't have any uh, civics out there. Uh, my religion is going to do something at some point. Or is it? I don't think there's anybody else I can oh, convert. So I'm converting somebody to shamanism. Who the hell is that? 
these guys? Okay, so, uh, oh, let's see, what's their, uh, their population is zero, so, uh, nothing's gonna happen on religion, uh, I've got my, my, these guys are gonna stick around, yeah, maybe I'll send them up here, maybe, maybe I can see across the ocean there. I'm on it. Yeah, okay. Oh, hello. Yes, indeed. Okay, so now uh, I can see across the little channel there. If I have a coastal ship, it looks like I should be able to pop over. Man, it's not work. Um, I pop over and pick up whatever this is. Okay, so I think I'm going to build that Pentecoster, uh, load this uh, Zuchur Zanchi on it, uh, pop the Zanchi over here and have him on this continent, have him run around and do stuff. Oh, there's a nice looking volcano there. Yeah, so there might be many, okay, but on the other hand, there's a enemy here. Okay, one turn until I get that harbor and then I may need to uh, build the Pentecoster. Maybe I can pay for it, I've got 400 gold. Yeah, so let me, I will head him back. So he's exhausted. I'll head him back next time. This guy, I've just had him sitting there. There's nothing to do. Yes, and then this guy, I want him to scout around. See if there's anything out here. So I think the theory is uh, that if you had a coastal ship, you could put him out to he here, this, this uh, tile here. And then he's got a movement of four, so you can move him one. Let me turn the tiles on. One, two, three, four. So you could get out to here, this tile right here, and then see if there's anything going on. One, two, three, four. So. Yeah, if the land was like here, then you could get beyond the coastal. One, two, three, four. You'd have one turn in, in ocean waters, and then you could pop over onto the onto the whatever that next continent is. So let's keep going. Your first mm. harbor gives access to endless expanses of the vast blue seas, great voyages and discoveries. Should have done this ages ago. Okay, what do the Huns feel about me? Greetings, sovereign. Are you Hesitant. with me or against me? Hesitant. That sounds better than whatever it was before, right? Hesitant. Okay, we propose a treaty to them. They see us as their closest challenger. That's exactly right. We follow the same religion. Hey, yeah, brothers under the skin. They've surrendered to us. We are the leader of their religion. Um, so I don't remember what that was before, but I think it was belligerent or something. So their war support is going up slower than ours. That's kind of surprising. So they must be doing something to bleed off war support. Because I think I've been getting two per turn for 16 turns. 17 turns. They've been doing something here, so... I don't want to propose an alliance. Because they're hesitant. That'll cost me 12... Whatever the star thing is. I'm going to say, I do not want an alliance. I would like some trade. I've got luxury goods. They've got luxury goods. Okay. Can't. I can't propose this for another three turns. I've already proposed it twice. They're not interested. I don't want to share maps. It'd be nice to find those other two. Uh, find out what's going on down in the southwest, but. You know, they can find out every, everything on my that I know, and I spent a lot of time going finding. So they've got a grievance. I claimed a territory on their border. They're not going to do anything about it. My treaty proposal was refused. I'm not going to do anything about it. 
Okay, so let's not worry about those guys anymore. Yeah, from maps, I would love to know what's going on down in this part of the... Uh, this part of the map, but uh, I'm going to get a, a Pentecoster and start flomping around if it will let me go someplace. At the very least, I can head up north and then head west. Uh, I don't know if I, it'll let me sail in their coastal waters or not. Probably not. It's kind of a bummer. Um... Right, like I said, it would be nice to know what's going on on the southwest, west, southwest coast here, but I know everything that's going on down here in Florida and then the whole north coast heap, heap up here. I know about this other continent out here, which he maybe doesn't. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, so I discovered this uh, volcano a while back. Okay, so uh, stop thinking so much and start doing stuff. Uh, Idle City. So this guy here, I want to build a Pentecoster. De -de 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 -de. There it is. It cost a pop. Take me four turns. Okay, 38. Uh, that's almost nothing. So how much is it going to be? Yeah, 140? I will be happy to pay 140. Okay, a so first ship. So the next political force do... can be projected across the oceans, on windy days at least. Okay, so a workshop influence. I probably just want influence. That's good enough for me. And then um, granary food for farmers. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Fishery plus three food on harbor. Um, so am I actually, am I actually getting the harbor food because the harbor is a district? I guess I'll find out. Or I could have, oh, created an iron mine. Where is the, okay, there's a nice iron mine right there. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to do that. Let me move the iron mine ahead of the food. Okay. So I am still in Patrick Jr., Uh, uh, building people or uh, increasing the population the money's okay and then the science is a little a little weak um, you know what I got enough money I'm gonna maybe pop over to science here okay uh, take a quick look at Patrickville yeah I'm really fooding it out my industry is super hot two sciences not making a lot of money. Um, population is increasing every two turns. 24, I've got plenty of room. I think I will increase my people and slow down a little bit on my industry. Okay, so... Uh, this guy, yeah, I'll put we'll him to keep sleep. Up. This guy. This guy, I want to hit him. Oh, wait. This this guy actually exists, okay. Oh, so if I go here. I don't possess a technology allowing embarkment. What? What? <laughs> well, why would I build ships if I can't embark on them. Um, let me look up embarkment here. This is my whole strategy. Such as it is. Embarking. Health, movement points, veterancy, unit types, land unit. Naval units. Naval transport units. Land units transform into naval transport units whenever they enter water tile. What? Embark and explore the seas or disembark on new lands. A unit must not have spent any movement points this turn. Hmm. 
that seems to imply that I can embark on this guy. On the other hand, this guy can move. No, he can't move this turn. So I'm going to pop down here. Uh, and then see if I can embark. It says I can't embark. Uh-uh. That won't work. You know, it won't work. A technology allowing embarkment. Um, okay. Um, oh, so... Hey, your, so your capital, they went independent? So do you think there was a, a rebellion in your in the enemy capital? And that turned them independent? Or somebody else captured the original empire, the original enemy empires, if, if they captured their capital, maybe the rest of the uh, cities in that empire went independent? Wow, independent people captured it. So I'm looking at my independent people here, and it says they are not going to attack me. So there must, when I see independent people, I have to check real quickly to make sure they're peaceful. Because if these guys were not peaceful, they'd be roaming around causing trouble because they're pretty, look at that. 22 and 19, that's, that's what, 41? Yeah, 41. That would be a killer. That, that would just, so if that popped up, I'd have to stop everything I'm doing and build a bunch of units that would kill my population and kill everything else I'm looking at. Hey. So the Empire's army was sitting around and you took advantage of it? That's, uh, that's a mercy killing. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know. Yeah, if they didn't defend their army, uh, I don't have any problem restarting. I did mention earlier that I wasn't going to restart just because... I would probably get in an infinite loop where I'd learn one thing and then go back and restart and then learn another thing and go back and restart. I'm just going to go all the way through and do dumb things. Like right now, I can't figure out why I can't embark. Um, so far, every question that I've asked the encyclopedia has not been answered. Um, so it looks like the encyclopedia was written kind of explaining what's going on and not explaining what happens if, if something's not working. Um, so let me go. It said that I don't have a technology allowing embarkment. So is there a embarkment? There's not. Um, ship? Okay, so I did sailing, which gives me fishmonger and the pentaconter, which I just built. I'm working on philosophy. Tax, that gives me taxation. Craftsmanship gives me... Oh! Excellent. Popped up standing army just so I could find iron. Embarkment. So I'm looking for this embarkment technology they were talking about. Boarding vessel applies boarded status to targets. Okay, that, that sounds like ship-to-ship uh, -ship warfare. So here is... Interpreters, provincial administrator. Okay, so this one might last more in coast in uh, ocean waters, but more than one turn in ocean waters. Don't see where boarding is an issue here. Transport gallery. Ranged combat. Naval attack unit must have line of sight to attack. Replaces land units which embark to travel across ocean tiles. Okay, so I don't understand the uh, naval thing. Um, ocean, coast, coastal water. 
Close to water, close to water, close to water. That doesn't really help me any. Coast to coast. Nope. How about ocean? Ocean. Environment, game content, terrain types. That's going to be this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that does not help me at all. Um, how about sailing? Okay, this is what I did. The Pentaconter, Fishmonger, and the Byring. I didn't see any Byring. Um, oh, this is interesting. The cost in terms of science is the number of research technology divided by 100 plus 1 times 180. So it's... Okay. I think I could, well, whatever. Um, I don't remember seeing a Byring in there. Oh, maybe that's only for Phoenicians. Um, um, how do I figure out how to... So something seems to indicate that I can... Go into the river here, or go into the uh, coast. Maybe this guy needs... Uh, non-zero movement points. Boarding vessel, coastal ship. Disband units. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I'm confused. Um, yeah, so if anybody knows how to handle uh, ships, I guess what I thought was that I would have a ship and a land unit, and I would move the land unit on top of the ship, and then they would both sail off into the sky. There, there might be some limit on the number of land units you could put in a single ship, but that's fine with me. Um, I didn't think I tried a couple times to have a la when I had a land unit near a coast to, to go into the coastal water, but it wouldn't let me. What the hell is this thing? Um, he's got two units of movement left. Nope. This is a harbor. Allows units to embark without any movement point costs. Okay, well, maybe it just uh, takes a turn or something to figure out what's going on. Let's we'll get him. Uh, who's next? One idle army. This guy. So let's head up here. Over this way. Let's go. Into here. See what's going on. That should be everybody in turn. Population gain. Patrickville. Sacred ground. Wait, 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 wait. I was going to build sacred ground. The Huns now feel differently about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that before. New wonder can be claimed. Okay, so how much does it cost to claim one of these old boys? Uh, da, 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 da. So I claim it and then build it. And does it cost me anything to claim it? Okay, coastal water or lake. Coastal water or lake. Stability. On naval unit. I don't know what that means. Statue of Zeus. Extra faith. Science, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Babylon gives you stability and fame. Stonehenge gives you food. That's nice. 
co-religionist states. I think the Huns are a co-religionist state. Stonehenge might be interesting. That'll give me some food, which I want. And I do have a co-religionist state. So what happens if I claim him? It doesn't say how much it costs. So I have 274 influence. Oh, here we go. Uh, claim for 250 influence. So they must have fired this up as soon as my influence got over 250. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, thanks, Sir Vigo. Uh, turns out it's 250. Uh, they won't tell you what the what the claim cost is until you actually click on it, which I find kind of weird because I didn't know if I clicked on it, it was going to say, "Hey, thanks for the 250." Uh, thanks for the 250 influence. You know, maybe I didn't want to spend that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and claim Stonehenge just for the hell of it. And now it should show up in here. There it is right there. Stonehenge. Excellent. Yeah, so the UI's uh, got a couple of uh, little tiny bumps and, uh, and niggles here and there, but uh, I guess that's, that's to be expected. Uh, so that... That actually claiming that uh, wonder. So now I don't know how to go back and claim that wonder. I'll worry about that later. Oh, that only takes eight turns? Holy crap. That seems pretty nice. Um, so now I don't know how to go back and look at wonders. How do I... Shared projects. Okay, so I think shared projects... Somebody... One of the uh, chatters said that meant that other cities can work on it as well. Uh, but I'm not building anything in Patrickville right now. Why don't I just go ahead and build Stonehenge? Does it matter where it is? I don't know. Top right of the screen, next to 2 3. Oh, there it is. No? Oh, show unclaimed wonders. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I probably would have found that at some point sooner or later. Show unclaimed wonders. Yeah, uh, once once I spend a couple more hours, I guess I probably spent quite a few hours. Uh, looks like I spent two and a half so far today. Yeah, hey, thanks a lot, Sir Vigo. I, I appreciate that. Um... So does it matter where I build the, uh, the, the Stonehenge? Let me look at the, the Stonehenge here. So what does it say? I can exploit stuff. Oh, hey, your Vigo bought the game yesterday. I bought it on uh, the release date, which I think was Wednesday. Uh, yeah, so I fired it up on Wednesday. I uh, decided to do everything live on a stream. So I fired up a stream and then fired up uh, Humankind. Of course, it took five minutes to to uh, to start up the first time, which I guess is fine. Uh, so they, you just heard me talking for five minutes. Hey, Sir Vigo comes here. Um, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the follow. Um, I'm planning on uh, continuing this civiliz uh, civilization. It's uh, kind of Freudian slip there. I'm planning on continuing this Humankind run. Uh, uh, yes, I'm planning on con continuing this Humankind run until I get fairly far so I'm in the classical era I've been trying to buzz through if you look on the right of my screen here I'm not trying to overthink everything I just want to do stuff and I'm trying to get the minimum number of era stars I need to get to the next uh, era which I think strategically is a bad idea because uh, it turns out that if the more era stars you get the more uh, bonuses you get uh, going on going on so I think long term if when I start this up again I'll spend more time in each era uh, doing stuff that not only gets more stars but helps me down the road as well uh, but for right now I just want to jump in and get to uh, get to the next era I think the medieval era so we'll see what happens there um, so what does this say more stability more faith 40 stability on capital holy site once a cultural wonder holy site is placed you can no longer move the construction construction time Okay, so, I, so here's a UI niggle. I can't see the construction time down there. 
Um, yeah, so the window that you're looking at, looking at on the screen, is exactly the same size as the window that I'm looking at. So uh, if you look at the uh, text on Stonehenge when it goes construction time, it won't tell me what the construction time is, but uh, but it tells me here it's it's eight. I probably should stop complaining. So let's keep going. Uh, and I'm trying to see. I don't know what. to put it right here and, and all these uh, I, I can't tell that this actually does anything maybe I should put it on top of this cave here that was pretty cool I do want to keep it away from the Huns uh, so I think putting it up north here might not be a bad idea uh, or maybe putting it right here I mean there's let me hang on a sec let me uh, turn on oh. <laughs> I had to Okay, so there's no resources in this area here. So I think I would like to put it in here. It's unlikely that I'm going to build a city with uh, many mountains. One, two, three, four mountains. Uh, although it's certainly possible that I would put something in there so that I could take care of, uh, take advantage of all these uh, industries. I think I'm going to role play and just build it right here. So there's there's nothing on this tile. If I build any other city or any other outpost, it's, it's not going to be here. Would I, just for role playing, I'd love to put it right here, but I'm maybe I'll, that would I would regret that later, and it would do something. Um, I'm going to put it there. So to heck with it. The eight turns. It's going to cost me 24 people. To, to build it, uh, what they call forced labor, but uh, of course there's another word for that. Um, yeah, so I, I wanted to, I mean, people pop in and out of streams all the time, so I wanted to, to help people. I'm doing a new run, I don't really know what I'm doing, um, and I just want to buzz through it as quickly as possible without, you know, without completely ignoring everything. So the air stars, I'm just going to get the middle minimum. If I get in a battle, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, auto resolve it if I'm going to win. If I'm not going to win, I'll probably just run away. Um, I'm trying to pick basically the cheapest tax that I can. Uh, if there's a unique district, I'm just going to go ahead and build it and see what it, see what happens to it. Uh, that turned out to be a mistake because I built this uh, when I was the Zhao in the ancient era. I built this confusion school in the wrong place, and it doesn't really help me too much. Uh, but anyway, live and learn. Uh, and then I'm picking cultures kind of at random. I don't want to overthink that. So if I go to uh, cultures, 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 cultures. If I go to the next cultures, I'm not going to spend, when I get there, I'm not going to spend too much time. So I, I picked a, uh, or the ancient era, I picked the Zhao for Aesthete. It turns out I wasn't able to get too many Aesthete stars, so that didn't help me too much. And then this time I picked the, the Celts just because I, I, my cities were really struggling. I wanted to get a little more uh, agrar a little more grain. And then next time, uh, I don't know what I'm going to pick. Um, maybe uh, maybe it's time to start cranking into science. Um, uh, maybe the Huns will will be kicking up a kicking up a fuss by the time I get to the next uh, next era, and I'll pick a. Uh, Pick a warlike militarist place. And I'm not going to overthink it too much. I'm just going to look at it from the high level. I'm, I'm not going to pick the English because I've already done an agrarian. Um, scientist, maybe. Okay, so uh, not to overthink that. Uh, okay, so what are they saying? They're saying... I want to look at my stone... Oh, that's cool. So that's a cool look at the Stonehenge, Stonehenge as it's being built. Um... So I can't do a forced labor. They won't allow you to pay for it. Um, oh, maybe I can pick another city. Once they get done with this pottery, I can help with the Stonehenge thing. I can give them 12 industry per turn. Right now, Patrickville is giving them 88, so that's like 15%. Now I got things to do in, in Patrick Jr. I've got to, I've got to build that iron mine in the fishery. So I built the harbor and my Pentecoster, my 50 50 robe Irene. 
might be a single ring. Okay, so I'm good. Uh, let's see. This says three idle armies of this guy sitting right there. I haven't done anything with him. This guy sitting right there, so he can't... Okay, so he's got full movement, and my guy's got full movement, and I still Negative. can't move on there. Maybe he has to move here. No doubt nope. could do that. Ooh, so this guy can move here. Okay, so I thought I was being clever by creating this unit here, and then I was going to pop the unit onto the ship, and then pop the ship over to this... Uh, other continent, and then I would disembark the uh, Zanshi, and then the Zanshi would, uh, it's got a six movement points, which is nice. He would scout around and do a whole bunch of stuff, find a lot of things, but I can't figure out how to do em embarkment, or even if that's possible. It says it's not. You don't possess the technology embark. Okay, so I've already spent a little bit of time looking for that. I'm going to look again and see if there's something close by that allows me to embark. Nothing there. I've already got that. Military camps. That's a transport gallery. Which you'd, you'd think would have to be embark embarkable. Uh, you know, maybe I'll build trade expeditions next and see what's going on. I don't want to. I don't want to kill myself over this. So uh, let me take my Zanshi and move him to the center of my empire, you know, maybe around here somewhere, so that he can strike if the need arises, as the Hun become more and more. Aggressive. Let me. Off we go. So I can't move to here. And this guy. So this guy can't move here. And this guy. Only in the mind's eye. You ask too much. Okay, well, screw it. Uh, I'll figure out how embarkment works later, and uh, in the meantime, it's mildly annoying, but uh, there are lots of mildly annoying things in the world. Uh, this is one of them, so I'm trying to get up, uh, get down, I'm trying to get down. Wow, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why did he get so few? Okay, so I want to head down here. Stay in my area, down this, maybe on this river somewhere. Okay, so this guy, I want to see if I can get into other people's territory. In the water. Yep. Um, I'm going to pop out. Just oh no, I'm. Am I in their territory or not in their territory? So I'm not in their territory. I'm not in their territory. And I'm starting to see stuff. So I'm just going to uh, run my ship around uh, and see what's going on. I w At some point, might like to try to run it uh, to check the southwest part of my coast here. Yeah, auto-resolve. I've had reasonable luck with auto-resolve. Again, I don't want to spend a half an hour on every single battle. Uh, okay, they will file a grievance. Yeah, thanks. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I, if I can't, if I can't sail in, in people's uh, coastal waters, I I can't I can't circumnavigate this uh, this continent here. I don't I guess I don't really care if somebody else uh, complains about me, but I do care if the Huns complain about me. Um, again, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to do stuff and see what happens. I would like to be a you know be a super genius, but uh, I think I'm going to. No movement points left. This guy, put him to sleep. Oh, I already did. And this... This guy? 
Damn, 20 faith and 20 stability? What the hell is this? The circle of rocks. Jeez. I think I'll move my guy back up to here. Yeah. In the turn. Okay, yeah, so I, I was looking at... Uh, Welcome. What do you seek? Open borders. I've done that a couple times in Civilization, like a million times in Civilization. I, maybe I'm overthinking it. Uh, but I did not need a treaty to get into this guy's uh, waters. Of course, I haven't met him yet, so we'll see what happens. I'm waiting for the jealous types to say things like, it's just a big pile of rocks. That must have been a, a message about my Stonehenge. Now, new tenant. Oh, the Huns enacted a... Well, how come they get to do that? Did I did I miss something? Okay, so I get more holy sites and I get more money coming out of luxury resource deposits. And I guess the next thing is when I get to 45. Oh, so he's my Wow, the Huns are the leaders of the religion. Okay, that's why he's picking it. That was kind of a surprise. I guess I'm assuming they've got more people than I do. That is interesting. That is very interesting. So I've got shamanism for the Celts. The religious leader is the Huns and the Harapins, or the Harapins. Nobody knows. So they also have 27 followers. Thanks. Okay, well, I'll just keep rolling around, see what's going on. Uh, let's see, this is probably the guy complaining. Oh, built to last. Built to last. Build a wonder. Ah. Okay, well, that that's fine. Good for you. Acknowledge. Do, 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 what is this? So the Huns are now... Let me click on the religion thing real quick. So I've got 15 followers and he's got 12. I don't know why he's the leader. I don't know why he's the leader, but uh, I'll worry about that later. Um, oh, their religion is your religion, and they must have religious influence on your civ. Now, I started Celtic shamanism, and it was mine. Um, it was my religion, but uh, I, apparently not. So, okay, so here's a... They've, Are you okay. interested? A most intriguing offer. Wait. I offered them twice to trade luxuries. Twice. And they turned me down and gave and gave themselves a grievance on that. But now I do want to trade luxuries. I think that will help me somewhat. Oh, I bet that's it. Uh Sir Vigo. I, I need to build some uh worship sites. You know, I bet it's a yeah, so I get a certain number of worship per person, but he probably gets a certain number of worship per person plus the worship from that circle of stones thing that he had. I'm gonna, ex let me hang on a second. So I wanna look at my cities. I've got 22, 88, 60, 30. To 88, 60, 30. So with the 22, I'm still getting good population growth. The industry, I'm really killing it. The money, I don't really need. Maybe I should put some of that on industry and this or science. Anyway, uh, 22, 88, 60, 30, and then when I go to Patrick Jr., I've got oh 10. 
12, 14, 11. So what I want to do is make this treaty and see if that inf infects any of these uh, amounts. So I'm assuming that when I accept this treaty, I'll get more money. How can I say no? This makes me content. Oh, pleasant. Okay. So they probably uh, turned me down because we were hostile. And now we're improving because we proposed a treaty to them, even though they turned it down. We signed a new treaty. Unfortunately, they're vindictive, and we had a, a nice 500-year uh, war earlier. And they don't like us because they're... Ooh, our, our strength is comparable. <laughs> Ouch. That's not good. Oh, yeah, the religion, the religion is the same. Okay. So now uh, I can trade, so why don't I trade something? Why don't I give up a silk for an obsidian? How do I do this trade thing now? Import. So I want to import silver, incense, and silk. So I probably don't want silk. I don't know what I'm doing with these luxuries, by the way. Probably would want to... So I get 68 and I get an obsidian. Hmm. So why don't I export some of my guys? I've got horses, copper, and no iron. So silk, 156. I, I don't even need silk that I know of. Uh, so what happens if I buy something here? Okay, obsidian, buy. Base price, total price, buy. Yeah, so I've never done a trade before. I think that should be pretty obvious here. I've never had a treaty that allowed trading. Yeah, I would think I would want to trade. Let's see. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Okay, so I can't trade for those guys. Yeah, so I've got a treaty that allows me to trade luxury goods. Maybe I have to wait till next turn. I think I'll wait till next turn and come back to this trade screen and, and see what's going on. Relations, prices. So this is going to go away. And I, I don't care about that. Okay, so I'll wait till next turn and see what's going on. Uh, urgent matters require my... Okay, fate of the free cities. Rulers of the rule. Yeah, okay, I like that. Your struggle is with other empires. You should not forget to part... Okay, so... I have a civic. Which is right here. This is under military... Martial and military matters. I've created divine mandate, codified laws, and small council. Again, I didn't... Uh, if you look at my uh, uh, primitive AI... For the civics, I'm trying to pick things that keep me in the middle. I don't know why I'm doing that. I just am. Um, okay, independent people. So, either way, I go outside of the middle. Okay, so I can either... Okay, so I can make, save money on higher army, although I haven't had that chance. Or I can save money on assimilation... Um, uh, yeah, so the balance, originally I just kept in the middle just because it, it's easier to decide, but it turns out that in the, if you're in the middle, you get the plus 10 stability. If you go outside of that middle, the stability changes from plus 10 to plus 5, which is fine because I've got plenty of stability, but I get more... In this case, I get more combat strength on each unit, which I think would be pretty pretty heavy, pretty nice. But if I go over here, I got the plus 10 stability. The stability drops to 5, but I get more food. So, um, 
I get out of this. So I get this thing here, 50% higher on army cost, but I also get plus 5% food. So how much food am I getting? Oh, I just wrote it down. I'm getting like well, plus 5% food. Is that net food or total food? Because I've got 173 food. Do I get 5% of 173? Which again, it's not a lot. It's like 8. Or do I get 5% of the 22, which is deadly squat, which is 1. Boop, 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 boop. So, uh, let's see. What was I doing? Um... I think I was looking at civics. There we go. Show me civics, independent peoples. So the question is, do I want uh, more food or do I want more combat strength? So I haven't had any wars recently. Maybe I can stay out of wars, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> this gives me some food and it also gives me the army cost. I have never had an assimilation. I don't know how that works. I'm just going to pick this, not because I like mercenaries as opposed to assimilating. I would think long term I would want to assimilate. Uh, that would make your empire stronger, and then you could roll over the next guy in the next era. Um, and I'm not going to hire any any armies, so this doesn't really help me. But this is nice, the five, the plus five food. I'm going to do that. We'll see if these independent people end up as shock troops, cannon fodder, or respected allies. Okay, so now let me see if my calculations are correct, and of course they always are. 22, so I've got four more. So, uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay, it says plus three from ideology. That's empire bonus. Uh, maybe there's more in right here. Plus two from ideology. So I've got, f I got an extra five, but I wasn't even looking at their food. Yeah, so my calculations did not quite work out. I'll have to figure out what's going on, but I, as of right now, I'm not worried about it too much. I picked something that I thought would give me more food. I got more food. Uh, my my calculation of eight was not correct. I don't know why. I think I'm smart enough to figure out what 5% of 170 is. So it must not be 5% of 170. Maybe it's 5% of 120. So I can, I can back solve all that stuff, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, that's what I do at work all day. Two idle armies. This guy, okay, so I want him to come down to here, because that's on a road. And then later on, I'll take the river out and maybe take a look, see what's going on in this part of the area here, which I haven't had any eyes on for a long time. Oh, this guy was sending back up there too. Wait, where was that uh, circle of stones they were all dancing around? Here it is, right here. Okay, so that's why, so he's got 20 faith from this. I'm guessing that makes him, that's one of the things that makes him the, uh, the leader. So maybe I'll, maybe when my Stonehenge clicks in, maybe I'll come back and be the uh, religion leader. Stonehenge. What do I get for Stonehenge? I get plus 20 faith. So I've got plus 20 faith. He's got plus 20 faith from uh, sites or districts. But I think I've got a couple more pops than he does. So maybe I'll end up being the uh, faith leader. Anyway, uh, this guy is sitting right there. That's a cool place for a circle of rocks. It's right, right underneath this big cliff. There's another cliff over there. It's near the ocean. I mean, just role playing. You got these uh, uh, fir trees out there. Yeah, good on him. Uh, so I'm going to take my guy and move him up here. So I'm on this river. Which I don't want to be the river. I want to be on the... But I, and I can see what he's up to. Okay, that's good. So... Three out of six. Oh, he's got plenty of extra movement spots. So let me head up to... Here. Come over here! Is there anything going on on this part of the continent? I don't see anything over here. 
horses. I don't see a massed army. Basically, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so here's my guy. Ball in. So these... Ooh, so... Uh -huh. So this is ocean, even though it's right next to... Uh, Island must be some sort of volcanic island with with no beaches. So I don't want to stay in there because it'll destroy me. I will go here. And now we there have we encountered the Maya. Those javelins are as unpleasant as their cities are wonderful. So I think the Mayans actually have obsidian in real life. Um, and I noticed I had some obsidian over here. I think this is obsidian. Yeah. So the Mayans. I think it was the Mayans who. Uh, didn't really have stone, but they had, uh, uh, or, or they didn't have iron, so they couldn't uh, cast uh, swords, but they did have uh, wooden planks that they stuck obsidian in, little tiny pieces of obsidian, and then if they hit you with the wooden plank that had obsidian in it, you would die. Okay, so he's got the pyramids. Well, I am pleased to meet this guy. Now let's see what he Greetings, likes. Sovereign. He's condescending. Well, if I'd be able to build the pyramids, I would be condescending. That there is too, no limit. If I had the haircut that guy did, I would not be humanity might soar. The Maya salute you. They're condescending. They don't like our religion. We're big like they are. Well, we're slightly less powerful than they are. So you can be condescending all you want. Okay, he was the traitor. I got a message earlier about somebody being a traitor. Its owner gained some war support when destroying an enemy district. Well, good for you. I don't know what these things mean. And let's see if he's complaining about anything. Where have your empires now reached the Maya? Okay. Uh, let's see. Relations are... Wait, my war support is 50 and their war support is 100. They're, okay, so the war support varies by who you're talking to. So ideologically, we're right in the middle. We're not kin, we're not kinship, but we're, he tolerates us. I don't think he's gonna accept an alliance and I don't really want one. Trade, treaties. Open borders. It does not look like he has any luxuries to trade, so I don't want to trade luxuries. I would love to sh trade maps. That might be the way to do it. Um, let's see what he does. I think we can undertake a common venture. Do you agree? Tempting. But I'm not quite convinced. <laughs> Any sweeteners. sweeteners? Need some sugar. Very well. Need Have some sugar. Well, I'll give you 50. Let's see. Where's my money? Where's my money? How much money do I have? Nobody knows. Fascinating, the Persians. We they probably accept. just stopped over to say hello. Let us have wine and song. Whoa. I discovered how long bay. I gained 30. Okay, so I looked at his maps, and he said, hey, here's this weird bay, and I gained 30 signs from that, okay? I found St. Elias Mountains. Wow, this is cool. I now Achaemenids. Persians, those are pretty cool. So let me go here and look at... I can that. say nothing that Chuan Zhu didn't already say much better. Um, okay, okay. So, a new uh, okay. independent so people. Go. And here who are go. they? Time will so, tell if they are helpful, helpless, or history. I don't know what the guy just said. Okay, so here are two continents separated by a narrow channel. And then all this stuff down here. Um, oh. Let me go to here, game options, oh, sorry, settings, mouse and keyboard.
UI. There it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, there's a way to turn off that uh, never-ending map, which I don't mind the never-ending map. It's just uh, I can't tell where where it ends and where it starts. Okay, video, audio, gameplay. UI. Mouse and keyboard? It's probably in here somewhere. Buy out. Shift Y. Claim territory. No. Nope. 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 Okay, well, maybe it's under uh, the game options, which is too late to change. World, world, world wrap. Okay, so I turned world wrap on. I can't turn, turn it off. Uh, that seems more like an AI thing or a UI thing than anything else. Let me resume. So, here's me. Okay, so there's got to be another continent out here somewhere. There's two here. I think I picked there were going to be three continents. And maybe he considers this to be a continent. But then there was going to be a new world continent somewhere. Okay, so uh, let me see. So I can sail in these areas here. In these coastal areas. Coastal areas, coastal areas, coastal areas. So then my question is, do I want to go north? Or do I want to go south and try to f head around my continent? I think I kind of want to head over here as, as west as I can get and then see if there's any way I can get across the ocean, assuming these guys will let me. So, oh, uh, Sir Vigo, hey, great. Yeah, sorry, sorry for the delay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on just uh, running all day, see what's going on. I think I've been streaming for three hours. It's not too bad. Uh, anyway, I appreciate it. Okay, so let me again apologize for not looking at the uh, not looking at the strat the chat all the time. So he's got no moves left. Don't have to worry about him. He's got four moves. That's this guy again. Why don't I move over here? Just Follow to see me. what's going on in this area here. This is going to kill it. 13, 15, 11. He's got some sort of celebration going. Stop it. Celebration... Oh, good for him. All right. The independence. Uh, crazy. Yeah, like I said, my independence are just sitting there. Yeah, they? they're still over there. Their uh, war chariot hasn't even moved for 10 turns. That's crazy. So peaceful. And they're right here in Zenith. Wait. They have a city somewhere. Oh, this is an outpost. Okay, so they distrust me, because, probably because I'm close. I guess I'm just going to hope everything works out with these guys. Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird that you that you ran into uh, aggressive, I guess they're barbarians, aggressive independent states. Um, oh, so I don't know if you missed this, but uh, I, f I built a ship. I couldn't uh, board my units on the ship, so I guess I'm not sure what's going on there. But I was able to sail my, sail my ship from my harbor. Sorry. My harbor, which is right here. Sailed them over here because I could see this uh, orange spot. And then I sailed up in here. And I was able to talk to uh, the head of uh, whatever the hell this city this is. The Mayans. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe. And then I just uh, traded mass with him. Which I was super helpful. For me at least. We'll see if he takes advantage of me somehow. So I think what I'm going to try to do now is sail around this continent 
get over here and see if there's some other continent that's hidden away there. If that doesn't work, I'm going to keep sailing around. There's all this uh, un terra incognita, actually, whatever the water is down there. Uh, I don't I don't have a good eyesight on the Huns coast, so I've, I'm thinking of turning around and doing that first, but uh, I think I'd rather do the exploring thing, see what's going on. Okay, so... Okay, so I do want to talk to... These are the Huns. I have a treaty with them. It's going to take me five turns to create another treaty, or to be able to propose another treaty. Oh, so he does have a crap load of luxuries. And again, I can't trade luxuries. I can only buy them. Kind of weird. Uh, so we really don't have any war support. It's not going up or down. We're not doing anything with this guy. So let me switch over to the Achmenidids. Greetings, Sovereign. Achmenids. Do you too believe that there is no limit to how high humanity might soar? Agamemnon. I have seen the face of Agamemnon. He is cruel and a militarist. That sounds about right. Uh, he likes to create outposts on coasts. And he likes to create outposts on coasts. And he likes to space out his outposts. Now this might be a, a problem. The Achmenidids, Ach Achmenids are right here. Well, no, that's not too bad. They could pop over and fight the Huns. Hey! That sounds like a winning winning strategy to me. Okay, uh, let me get back to talking to the Achaemenids. Achaemenidids. Achaemenid. I know how to say that. Uh, trade. So I don't know why I would want to trade luxuries. I'm assuming it brings happiness or fame or stability or something. But I don't know what that means. So he is... What does this uh, thing mean? Ooh, the Achaemenids can always trespass. So this thing here, the only thing this thing here to do would be to allow me to go into his border. So he's probably not going to go uh, be happy with that. I would like to see his maps, but I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on already. And well, I'd love to have a non-aggression pact with Agamemnon. If he wants to fight the Mayans or the uh, Hittites, not the Hittites, the Huns, you know, more power to you. So let me hold off on that. So our relations are here. We go suspicious. So I don't see open borders as being a, a winning policy if they're suspicious of us we are much more powerful so if i sign a non-aggression pact sorry where did he go i think they'd be interested in a non-aggression pact and the mayans are attacking them so if i say hey i'm a heads i'm a hands off i think they would like that i don't really want to go in and attack the Achaemenids. i think he might be i think he should be favorable for this Although he's a militarist, so he's thinking of attacking us at some point anyway. Come. Both our peoples need this. All right. Accepted. With pleasure. All right. So he's getting ready to stab me in the back, but hopefully he'll be dead before he can do that. Happy tidings. All right. All right. Well, they have... They're not... Any, any, there's no change in war support. Um... He was suspicious, now he's still suspicious, but maybe at some point in the future I can trade luxuries, which presumably would be good for me. Okay, so this was interesting. So I I think the, uh, the expense of building the harbor and then building the uh, Pentecostal was worth it. And then I just, all I did was uh, sail from this point to this point, buy some maps, trade, trade for maps, and I could see pretty much the whole world. Of course the Mayan skin too. I think I'll sail around and try to find the other uh, continent or maybe circumnavigate the globe. If that doesn't work, I'll come back down and, and uh, go up and down this coast between the Huns and the Achaemen and the Achaemenids. Um, 
All right. So I gained a bunch of science because uh, I, I, I bought that map or exchanged for that map and I saw the... Wait, I discovered how long Bay? I think so. This is definitely not me. Okay, so we got a, a decent amount of money, so let's see. What's my turn? I've got an item unit here. I'm going to. Okay, so now they're going to let me in my turn. Uh, at some point, I'll figure out how to embark. Hey, uh, Captain Hardship, I was having problems embarking my uh, ship. Uh, I had a ship, Pentecoster, and a land unit. Uh, these, uh, this guy right here the Zanshi. It's possible that I couldn't... They don't allow you to uh, transport heavy cav or cavalry of any type. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to my next turn. Whew. Okay, so... Debate and discussion are not the pastimes of the idle, but the actions of thinkers and movers who will touch every aspect of civilization. Nope, if you're not working with your hands, you're not working. You gotta be growing crops or, or building something. Acumenid, the Acumenid Persians now feel differently about it. Tell me your concerns, friend. They're jealous. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Well, I knew Agamemnon was a cruel militarist. I don't I don't mind no, whatever. I do have a non-aggression... I'm glad I signed that non-aggression pack when I did. Okay, so what else? I've unlocked philosophy. That must mean I need to create, open up something else. Uh, let's see. So I think I'm just going to go in and pick the uh, easiest ones to do and not have to worry about it. Again, this is definitely not min-maxing. One, two... And then uh, trade expositions might be helpful. That's three. And then or hydrology, four. Okay, so that gets me uh, 15, 17 turns of uh, not having to worry about science. And three idle armies again. Okay, this guy right here. So now I'm afraid he's gonna, I keep being afraid he's gonna uh, rip into me. Okay, so I think I can get over to here. This is a coastal territory. This is ocean. That's ocean. Coastal. I'm just going to go nice and slow. Oh. Uh, no. No. Um. No. Okay, so I was able to enter their territory. This might be, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but I was able i was able to enter their territory before I had met them. So my, my ship started from this harbor here, went all the way up to here, and then as soon as I saw the pyramids, I got to talk to uh, Greetings. Edgar. Greetings, tell me. Signed a treaty, and now I can't move around in their territory. without causing a war, although I'm in their territory right now. So, I guess I'll find out if that causes a war. I can't move on land. I can move over the ocean, but that will kill me. So I think I would prefer to not die, I guess, if I had to, if I had the choice. Oh, so I am, so he knows I'm trespassing. He'll take damage each turn. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm at 90. So I'm going to last another 10 turns, another 9 turns, I think. Okay, so he's not letting me land. I can't take food and supplies. Uh, my various things about the ship break, like the oars and the mast and the sail. Pretty soon, I'm going to, or 10 turns from now, I'm going to sink. Well, well, well. So what can I do here? I can...
Well, uh, either Sir Vigo or you, Captain Hardship, uh, warned me of this. Um, so it looks like this is independent of the sh ship thing. If you go in to somebody else, maybe, maybe they figured it out on land, but if you go into somebody else's territory and then you meet them and then they decide to have closed borders, then you're trespassing? Maybe uh, the developers figured that out on land and did, got rid of that. Well, no, because that mainly happened in the in the Neolithic era, era where there's no real there's no real declaration of war or, or transports or anything. So I think what I need to do is try to get with Edgar and get an open borders treaty. So I can't do anything for four turns. So at that point, I'll be about half strength, and if I get open borders, I'll be happy. If I don't, my ship will sink. Yay! So, live and learn. So, I guess uh, next time, if I'm doing this, I have to... Well, I don't know, man. I don't... I don't know what I would have done. Because I, I can't go into the Hun territory. Yeah, I'm not super happy about this, because I can't go into an, a neighboring territory, but all the neighboring coast... I have to stay on the coast... Or otherwise, if I'm in the ocean, my ship will sink. But I can't. No, see, it won't, won't even let me leave. See, I'm, I'm right here. If I go there and say, do you want to declare war? I think, yeah, probably not. Uh, I can go out here into the ocean. But if you stay at the end of the ocean at the end of the second turn, it'll sink your ship. So uh, if I'm staying here, I'm, I'm losing uh, 10. It looks like I'm losing uh, 10, 10 health per turn. Uh, so that gives me nine more turns to figure something out. And again, I think what I'm going to do is wait for four turns and then try to get open borders. If I can't, then I can't. Uh, that seems like a bit of a, a bit of a problem because in every game, by the time you get a ship, all of the other coastlines are taken, and you can, you have to stay on the coastline, otherwise your ship is going to sink. But you can't be on the coastline because uh, the other Empire wants to make a war with you, so uh, maybe they could escort me out. Maybe there's some way I can. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. So maybe it knows I'm trying to get out the hell out of here. That was weird. So it won't. It would not let me move one at a time, but it would let me move four at a time. Uh, sure. Whatever. Whatever. I'll just set Keeping him up here. This guy. I'm going to move him up to here. Oh, apparently I'm not going to do that. Got yeah, I don't see any any cities. I don't see any armies. I don't see any outposts. I don't see any stone circles. It looks like all of his stuff is over here on this side. So I do attack him. I think I'm going to attack the valuable part. Let's do this. Here we go. So that should kill me or stop me because I've moved on to a river. This guy. Yeah, I think I want to move on to that river. Okay, so I'm gonna let him sleep. End turn. Oof. Uh, yeah, I want to keep going. I'm I'm a little uh, a little tired. Yeah, three and a half hours so far. That's not a obviously not a killer. But what's all this stuff here? Exploitation. So my wait, what is this? This is my harbor. I'm exploiting all this other stuff here. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, it's in the turn. I want to see what happens up here. Okay, so I've got one in populate one population in Patrick Jr. I'm up to five. That's it. I want to move out of here. 
So let me see what my diplomatic Jump. status is. Let us discuss our dreams. Stable. Condescending and stable. Okay. So now I would like open borders with... It looks like I could probably scoot down here. This is not claimed. Maybe I can get open borders with the uh, Huns. Welcome. What do you seek? So our attitude is pleasant. Well, I'm I'm in favor of that. If I could get open borders, I don't want that on the land, but I do want it on the sea. Come. They're going to refuse Both our that. peoples need this. Still not enough. Very enough? well. Have it your way. Fair enough. Got no problem with that. Um, so, one, two, three, four. So I need to get here. Aim here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, oh, I'll come down here. Ooh, what can I do? Ransack. Um, I'm confused. Ransack. What does this say? Oh, I can ransack the harbor. I'm going to say no. Let's not do that. Why would I ransack my own harbor? Oh, wait. So do I get to restore? Okay, so I'm down to 80. I got up to 20. I will wait here when I get to 100, which I think will be next turn. I'm, then I'm going to go 1, 2, Three, four. This is a, oh, that's an ocean square. No, no, it isn't. Coastal, coastal. Okay, so yeah, I'm basically screwed. Yeah. So the big problem I see is that uh, you can't sail around in humankind because you have to stay on the coast, or your ships will sink. You stay on the coast, uh, you'll start a war with somebody else. I can't get those uh, open treaties, open water, open border treaties. I'll try again uh, in three or four turns with this guy, with uh, Edgar. I can't. Yeah, so there's no, uh, there's no coastal square that I can get to in four turns. Well, maybe. One, wait, is it one? Two, three, four. I could stay there, and then maybe if I couldn't get anywhere, I could scurry back. Okay, so at the end of next turn, if I get a hundred, I'm gonna and I maybe I'll wait till after the uh, after I try the open borders treaty with the Mayans. But if that doesn't work, then I'll. If that doesn't work, then I'll go one, two, three, four. And I'll be on the ocean, but you can survive one turn on the ocean. And then it looks like ocean unknown. So maybe there's some coastal territory that's not claimed. Um, if there isn't, then I'll just turn around and head back. Wait, wait a sec, what did I just do? Wait, okay, so these guys need a better name. How about... Um, I don't want to spell barnacle. That's embarrassing. How do you spell barnacle? Oh, okay. Okay, another empire. That makes... I'm, I'm glad. I mean, that kind of makes more sense. I'm happy that uh, it's not independents that are causing the problem. It's another empire. Because uh, I just don't need another... You know, another source of military stuff. I don't... Like I mentioned, I don't really like the warfare stuff so you either have to uh, you have to lean into it and kind of make that your primary goal for the first hundred turns or so uh, or it's nice if you can stay away from that and build your city and build some farms and get some science Okay. 
Uh, the happy killers are sitting up here. If I do want to take a Tutsa, I definitely want to be right back here. Follow me. Okay. That gives me a river into the uh, their capital city. Let's see. Uh, these guys that seem to be a river right into their capital city. Oops. Uh, then this guy. There was nothing. I mean, there's nothing going on in this whole, this whole southwestern desert stuff. Um, I'm gonna guess that this is just a coastline right here, but it's possible it goes all the way down here and has a whole bunch of uh, uh, gold mines or something, I don't know. Uh, let's see, so he is sitting right there. Ooh, what's this? The Huns have a special interest in this place. Oh, they do, do they? Wait, artisans? This is... I built an artisan's quarter quarter there? I don't remember that at all. Freak. Here. Okay, uh, urgent affairs require my attention. The, the Empire's religion grows, more and more followers coming into the faith every day. That's good. Some practice their beliefs through ceremonies led by priests, while others guide their own worship. It's time to give a blessing to one of these means. Okay, so I can go get more industry, or I can go get more money. can get an action that gives me more stability. I don't need that. I don't mind the industry. 30% religious district industry, religious districts cost less. And I'm probably going to build one of those fairly quickly. And I'm probably going to build a religious district fairly quickly. And the money, I don't really need that. I'm going to go with personal. Rights. I suppose there are some things that are best done alone. So here we are down here. So I have to build a, a city so that my religion, which is now run by the Huns. Oh, oh I think once the uh, once the Stone Edge gets built. Yeah, yeah, Captain Hardship, I agree, trying to wipe him out. I mean, I don't know, maybe next time I'll play with the peaceful option so people aren't attacking me. Just, I don't know, maybe that'll make me weak if I do that. End turn. Let's see what happens here. Get some money. Get some organized warfare. So I research this. That's good. And I've already, I've already, air star unlocked. Okay. Access to your incense was purchased by the Huns for five gold. What the hell? No idea what's going on there. So my, I guess I'm making money. I don't remember that at all. So what is that trade. foul odor? Incense and silver. Import, export. Okay, um, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm, I'm not sure what that means. They were trading with me, and it, it cost me like 20 or 50 to get their stuff. Anyway, let me see. Oh, this is it right here. Silver. I don't know what's going on. So we got one turn left for uh, the Stonehenge. 
Stonehenge will be mine. Something good will happen at that point. Uh, I do have two more turns for open borders. Uh -oh, Greetings. Their war support to what do I owe this down. pleasure? Okay, so this guy is now 100 strength. So while I'm waiting, I think I will head over here. One, two. Uh, that's bad because I get over here, three, four, unless there's something right here. Nope, I'm going to head back. Oh, one, two. Did I stay? Stay. Dang. Man, that guy's got a huge army just bumming around up there. That is crazy. So, uh, let me take a look at him. They don't like me. They're peaceful, though. Uh, I guess I'm not sure how these things work, so... If I give, if I use 50 influence, I will get more bonuses with them. If I give them 50 gold, I will get more bonuses with them. Oh! Once I become a patron, I can assimilate them. That's interesting. Um. Oh, patronage. Okay, so here's the patronage thresholds. I'm at 18. I'm getting three each turn. If I give them 50 influence, I will get something. And then, as as my influence increases... Okay, so here I'm at tolerant. I can buy resources and they will not attack me. That's good. I can buy resources and I can hire their... Okay, that's how I hire their armies. So once I get... My patronage up above 60, then when I click on one of these units, and there's probably a little button that says, hey, do you want to buy me? Or hire me, I guess, for a good way to put that. Uh, and then 90 to 100, you can assimilate them. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. Share their map, I don't need their map, but what the hell, I'll just go spend 50 bucks. What? It's ridiculous. I spent 50 bucks and got almost nothing out of it. So, screw you guys. What the hell is this? Oh, this is the silver that's owned by this independent state here. Okay. So they basically... They basically own that state now. That territory. All right. Um... Is this? Sure, it's okay. Uh, no, I don't want to do any of this stuff. Okay, so once I'm in here, I can't get out. All right, turn 55, I've got one idle army. That's these guys. I told them to, oh. Just head back down to here. That's on the road, right? We'll keep an eye on things. Okay, so 
This strange monument called right. Stonehenge. I have d- Most built impressive, Stonehenge. Though the nagging oh, questions good. remain of why and how. Ooh, hello. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Well, let me gaze in, in wide-eyed wonder on my... Okay. Uh, so this looks kind of threatening. This guy can tear through me. He's got 108, and I've got 20. Well, it's just for just for green. Welcome. Let's see what their deal what is. Their war support is low, so maybe I can. Think I think it's important for me to not declare war on them. And we have a non-aggression pack, so I guess I'm kind of okay. Needy. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. So they're getting their silver and stuff. So why don't I? Ask them for money. Ooh. Needy. So they need my help. What do they want me to do? I can't, I can't uh, propose any treaties. I suppose I could. 68? No, I mean, they were buying the stuff for me stuff for me for 5 or 10. So, go away. Um, relations. Peace. Fine, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this alone. Uh, okay, so Green screwed me over what on the non-aggression jack. That sounds like a really, really bad sign. Come, relax. Let us speak honestly. Okay, so open borders. I got one more turn on that. And my ship. I need to move over there. And Wait. So I'm not going to go down there anymore. I think maybe I'll go up here. And then if they, he does allow me, he doesn't, oh wait, I'm going here. Yeah, so I can get up in here. What are those things? Reefs. The Empire's religion followers continue to grow, but their tensions, schism. Uh, let me see if I can pop over to here and just say Huns are still the religious leaders. supposed to look at urgent message well here is the civic okay so religious tolerance so whoa so if I become religiously tolerant I'm going to lose some stability or if I plus five influence on territories if they follow the state religion, or plus five faith. 
This gives me some stability back. This gives me food. I think I'll try the food just for the hell of it. It all sounds well and good until they start worshipping delivery services and bank accounts. Okay, so I said I wanted to be in the middle, but I'm way out of the middle here. I had an opportunity to move uh, my worldview back to the middle, but I did not take it. Uh, let me see how my stability is doing. Yeah, my stability is still 100, so I don't have to worry about that on that particular in that particular case. Um, oh, so my stream is uh, drop dropping frames. Okay. Um, I think I may call it a day. Well, I'll, I'll try one more thing. Uh, let me try to get a new treaty. Oops, I can't do that till next time. Yeah, taking out a city is much harder. I, th I think I've taken it. I've taken out a couple of uh, outposts. I just kind of walked into them. Didn't have any problem. Um, I think I'm going to. Wait, didn't I already do this? Yeah. Oh, cancel. Okay, so I'm good. I'm good. One idle city. Okay, so here we are at Patrickville. I'm building all the food I can. Industry is really cranking up. I probably should put more money into science. Let me move this guy up a little bit. Let's see. Move it around as I need to. So I'm getting. One population area. Okay, so I'm really cranking up the population. A lot, lot to go. The industry, money. I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit from money to science. I'm still doing okay. Industry is really cranking up here. Um, okay, so they want me to do something. I've already got a nematon, so I can build two nematons. Is that right? Oh, so I have to build the other one over here. So they would suggest plus 17 food and three faith. Okay, so that's a possibility. Okay, so I don't have some of these new things here. Here's an iron mine. I think I want to do that real quick. Like, so I'm gonna, I've only got one iron that I know of. There's one up here, so. They don't, that's not my territory. I don't know what's going on here. So I'm going to go here. Yeah, it's not super helpful, but it's nice to have iron in my, in my arsenal. So that's going to take one turn. And let me pick up something else as well. School. Plus one science on research quarters. So I don't have a research quarter. Blood irrigation. Don't have any uh, rivers. Here's a research quarter. Let's see. Where is that going to help me the most? They suggest I put it here where I gain seven. Okay, or I could put it over here where it's a lot, where it's a five. This would be cool, plus seven, minus two. And whereas this one here is plus seven minus one. Okay, I'll put it there. I'll build a school or whatever that's called. Research quarter, okay? So I build a research quarter, that'll take another three turns. I don't need another harbor. Probably should build some infrastructure here. Food on river, don't need forge. Scribes. 
plus one science per research. So that would give me, so this is not too bad. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so my money's pretty good. I think I'll take one money off and put it over here. If my food is good. Okay, so this is a pretty, pretty good city. So I had felt pretty bad about this city originally, but I'm able to, uh, able to, to come over. So I'm going to end my turn and see if I can get a treaty with the uh, Mayans. Builder Stars has been here. Okay, so I built another... And look at that. So I've got a Builder Star for building 16 districts. So now I have to build nine more if I want another star. Two more territories. I don't think I'm going to get that. I have to almost double my influence. Wait, so this says my influence is 1177. So they're, I think they're counting every influence I've ever had. So this is a destroy units scientists. So I, okay, so three more, three more um, technologies. I'll be in good shape. And this is uh, more money. Ooh, so I'm getting close on the population. So hopefully I'll get the population, get an agrarian star, get 150 fame. Uh, the science, I should be able to get a couple more uh, technologies, get another 200 fame, another star. That gives me two stars at that point. Boy, I don't know. At that point, I'll probably just get excited and see what's going on. So has anybody uh, used up one of the... They're all available for me, at least as of right now. I think if I look at, there we go. So I've got five arrow stars. Uh, whoever, no, no, I've, I've got four arrow stars. The Mayans have five. Uh, the Achaemenids have two and the Huns have one. So maybe I don't have to worry about the Huns too, too, too terribly much. Okay, one more turn. Oh wait, so can I go to Tell me what is on your mind. Open borders. Propose. I think we All can right. undertake a common venture. That's excellent. Do you agree? So I'm sharing maps. A proposal as fair Opening as a summer's borders. day. That is we good. Now, hopefully he won't take advantage of it. Let me make sure that I can now do this. Also oh, it's navigating me around the reef. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, so there we go. That's good. That's very good. So now I can explore this. Uh, oh my gosh. For this continent, I don't think there's going to be anything over here. But I don't know. It'd be nice to know that. Maybe I'll get some, some recognition for that. I've got the crap ton of money. Maybe I should buy out some of this stuff. The research quarter... Ooh, 749. And here's the fishery, which I could finish up for 338. So that gives me three food on the harbor. I can wait on that. Um, okay, so uh, nice, nice long stream. I had some uh, great, great companions here popping into this to the chat from time to time. I appreciate everybody's uh, thoughts on.